tonight. And of course, our engineering studio is King Mitchell. And we do have a very specially invited guest and another specially invited guest who will be coming in via telephone later on. So, ladies, gentlemen, you got to stick and stay with us until 12. We go with you from now until 12 midnight. So stick and stay with us right here and feel free to enjoy the show by participating. All right? So let me give you those numbers now to hook us up later on as we go through the show. So the local number is 876-453-1444. That's 876-453-1444. You can text us, regular SMS, or you can send us a WhatsApp-only message on that number, or you can call that number locally. The international number is 954-338-7973. That's 954-338-7973. And tonight, you know, I've always behaved myself every night. But tonight, Daddy Road is going to have to try very hard to behave because a lovely, praise Jesus, pastor is in our midst. And I know he cannot misbehave. <laughs> I'm sorry for him tonight. He will now give us the... On the go, you will say, <laughs> you got to listen to his tone now, people, because he's not going to sound normal. He has, he's going he's gonna to give us the USA, the Canada, and the UK on the go numbers. Daddy Road, or should I say, you well? We praise the Lord. I praise Jesus. <laughs> the USA on the go number is 712-832-2772. That's 712-832-2772. And the UK on the go number is 033-0606-0944. That's 033-0606-0944. And in Canada, the on the go number is 4647-957-9637. That's 647-957-9637. Six, six, I told you he was nervous. Uh-huh. He was nervous. I can hear it in his voice. I know him better than anybody. Almost better than Karen. Almost. <laughs> so when I say he's nervous, people, he is nervous tonight. <laughs> Daddy yes. Rudo, are you? I'm good. <laughs> I'm no. Good. I'm, I'm quite good. I'm quite comfortable. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm within my domain. I'm within my... You know, I feel great. If you're comfortable around As the past, you imagine me? I'm no, extreme. I I'm a good behaving around girl. Around her, I feel safe. Safe? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I feel safe. Well, she's in the middle of the two of us, so oh. no claps for you tonight from a distance, right? <laughs> from no right. No claps, really. Um, we are going to. Um, well, give us the social media the social pages, media, right. right? So we acknowledge yes. all our friends who are ready and gearing on the Facebook Live. It is up and ready. It's there. It's getting there. All right. So tonight you can see the show live on Facebook, 96 Styles FM, 96.1. Go to the fan page and feel free to share your comments. Be it, make it constructive. In favor of, not in favor of something, we, we, we'll take those criticisms, yeah? Share with us, feel free. St on Twitter, at stylesfm961. On Instagram, follow us at stylesfm. And on YouTube, you can see all the all shows posted there. YouTube, it's Styles FM Radio. All right, so again, welcome to all our friends across the length and breadth of Jamaica, those who listen on the FM band, those who watch via the World Wide Web, those in foreign land, those in St. Mary, St. Thomas, Portland, St. Anne, Clarendon, wherever you are and you're tuned in right now. We want to load you up and we want to acknowledge you and say thank you for being with us. I want to say big, big ups tonight to the Almond Tree Massive and crew out there in Anchovy. Yes, they're thank listening you, in. And I know they're listening and they're going to hear their big ups tonight. So big ups to the Almond Tree crew, the lady at the, the fruit stall and so on and everybody out there. So which part of the Almond Tree did they? Oh, anchovy there. When you go towards anchovy, we cross from the beach. Little oh, beach. right, that's so. Right, that's so. Yeah, yeah man. Where yeah, you get your yeah, jelly yeah, yeah, and your, yeah. your coconut and your, your banana, every little thing. What's the difference between, between a jelly and a coconut? 
Tapi fikir aku sejalan aku kena dah. <laughs> Jelly is the softy, softy one. And the coconut is a tough one we get we reach maturity if you can turn you know your rice on peas. So let me ask you a question. Is is there a difference between a a jelly tree and a coconut tree? One is me not me not no foolishness, me not know. <laughs> <laughs> is there a difference? Let me ask you. Me Farmer. As as far as I know, all of them are coconut tree. Farmer. But people Farmer say Jango. jelly tree. Is there a difference with jelly tree and coconut tree? No difference at all. Because the jelly became, becomes a coconut. So what do you call it? A jelly. A jelly water. So is so jelly water different from coconut water? No, it's water, but it's just that one reach more. You know, come time up tonight. You leave me alone here, man. Look here. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have the pleasure of having a beautiful lady with us, an empress with us tonight. And Daddy Road will take the honor of introducing her to all of us. To well, all of you, yes. Um, this is for the persons who don't get up early in the mornings. Uh -huh. on a, um, which <laughs> night? It's Friday? Wednesday, Wednesday morning? Tuesday. Tuesday. Tuesday morning. Um, those who don't get up early in the morning on a Tuesday to listen to Pastor Raymond, right? And she comes on... Lindsay Raymond. Lindsay Raymond. Lindsay Raymond. Yes. Okay. Um, she comes on during the Lord's Hour from 5 a.m., to 6 a.m. on a Tuesday. Good timing. Yes, so we, we, need, we need that early morning blessing. And, Amen. Um, yes. Based on what we're going to be discussing tonight, I think we need some guidance mm -hmm. um, biblically, you know, and otherwise, you know, from, 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 a, from, a, from a guidance and counseling standpoint, because it's one of those topics tonight that a lot of persons, in my opinion, are actually, they like to talk about it, but they hate to... to, to Discuss it. Discuss it. Oh, yes. yes. They like to talk about it, but they don't want to discuss it, it. And when it comes up, tempers will flare. Tempers will flare. And emo reason goes to the door. Yes. And emotions take, take over. over. Right. Yes, so. yes. So we're going to have a, a different perspective tonight and see if we can, you know, save, shed some light, shed some light and, and save <laughs> some souls. Yes, some souls and some relationships. Some souls and relationships. And relationships. Yes. Yes. So very good to have you. Pleasure having you here in studio with us. And we yes. trust you will enjoy the show. We'll hopefully make it exciting for you to enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. All right. Our pleasure. All right. So before we go, let me see that clock, King Mitchell. I have a minute or so. Um, before we go to that break, we have an issue that is like getting me like topsy-turvy. What is happening in the United States of America? Like, what is happening in the US of A? The eagle wing clip. Uh -uh. Mm -hmm. The eagle, eagle Did clip. Did you say eagle? Yes. The eagle, <laughs> the, yes. the eagle has clipped its own wing. Wing, yes. oh my goodness. Too much of one thing good for nothing, don't it? Yeah, but uh, as I always say, and I, and I give thanks to oh Donald Trump, you know. Oh, boy. I give thanks, thanks, many thanks what, to Donald Trump. He has enlightened Trump. some, some he, open up some eyes for he, you? Yes, uh, well, not for me, for all of those persons who have been in denial. Denial, oh, my goodness. You know, so I really give thanks to him. This, there's, a, there's a thing called this, uh, what's the word, this, despotic leadership. I don't know them the big word. <laughs> <laughs> me no know them. Me no know. Me no know them. The word. No, it it's it's kind of crazy when I look at the television and I'm just appalled at what is really happening. I, it's like you know you have some big yard. Yes. Where. Me, 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 me go to the break yes. and, and, and we will a reason because yeah, it's a it's, good reasoning. It's now 9.30 and the time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services and Real Talk is sponsored by Nessal. We soon forward, don't go anywhere. Architects, draftsmen and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high quality white paper printing that is water resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 
0809-893-2266. Do you have or are you seeking a place to rent? Seeking employment or have a job vacancy? Are you selling a car? or having a garage sale then come see us let styles do the advertising for you and you'll be on your way in no time contact us at 439-5160 advertising style advertise with styles Yo, this is Jati, the reggae best. Join me alongside Jati Jr. right here on Styles FM. Each and every Saturday from 1 to 5 p.m. For the reggae ambassador entertainment show. I'm going to take you on a musical ride in a yard style. Coming up, Ska, Ska, Rock Steady, and Oh Yeah, we'll rock you from old to new. Roots, culture, and in a dance hall style, Lily, Lily, Lee. Remember, each and every Saturday from 1 to 5 p.m. For the reggae ambassador entertainment show. Check it out. Check it out. Right here on Styles FM. Yes, the thing. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting, and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. The views expressed on this program are not necessarily Necessarily the views of Native Broadcasting Network or Styles FM. Styles FM 96.1, 96.7. People Station. Welcome back, guys, to Real Talk with Daddy Rude and Lady Cleo. And tonight we are joined by the vivacious Pastor Lindsay Raymond. So, she will be a part of our discussion for about an hour or so. And I also have um, a, a la another vivacious lady who will be joining us via telephone for those who might not have heard the very first time when I said it. But we also have with us, listening in for the moment until we do make that connection, associate psychologist, guidance counselor, motivational speaker and president-elect of the Jamaica Association of Guidance and Coun Guidance Counselors in Education. And she's also a proud mother and grandmother, and I speak of none other than the beautiful Orlean Gooden Wellington. So for those of you who might know that name, yes, you will be hearing from her as well. So we, that road is so outnumbered tonight with three strong, vivacious, powerful women. And he's just going to be quatting in his little shell, I think, tonight. <laughs> 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 but of course, all power to you, Daddy Road. All power to you. You're yeah, not right. taking away your shine tonight. So, Like you did last week. Oh, I tell you, boy. Oh, sh mm, so mm, mm. We, we were just talking about what was... I asked a question. What is happening? What is really happening or what continues to happen in the United States of America. I heard someone say, it is like Jamaica is the developing country. We are no third world country. America is behaving and operating like a third world country in some regards. And I just shook my head because I, I thought about what the person said. And I've never seen that in our democracy. I've never seen that in the little dot on the map. You know, where you think, oh, some people will think, oh, sir, them people not, not have it together. They don't have it together. America, you know, this powerful America, they have it together. And, you know, they will conduct themselves in such a way that people can look to emulate. But I'm not seeing that happening. Wanton disrespect for authority, the disrespect for even the very own democracy that they speak so highly of. Um, <sighs> listen, I, I've 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 heard one of the protesters say that um, she's there because she wants, but she, she she don't want to lose her freedom, and I'm I'm trying to figure <laughs> out what freedom has she <laughs> lost or, or is she losing? Yeah. 
you know so we have to be very 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 mindful of the of what the thought process is is among the people you who know, are doing these things right and it is nothing oh boy that is really new in terms of their thought process it's just no coming out, out. you know mm. um things that persons have been talking about for years that they have been facing with certain type of prejudices etc these people freedom is one in which in my opinion that they they think they have the right to oppress on others Mm-hmm, and they probably think that um, with, without um, the president, the current president of the United States of America, um, that they will lose that freedom. Wow. You know, so it, it, it all The freedom ha- to do anything they want to do? Remember, you know, we talk about democracy, you know. It, it, it is what your interpretation of it is. Well, remember, yes. remember, you know, everybody yes. is, is trying to make relevance out of their belief. Mm-hmm. So really and truly... Because I heard another one say, this is my chair. When he was sitting in the chair with his feet on the, ladies, on the, the, the desk. Well, I think it was the senator's desk. That, 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 that would and have been his belief. But what yeah. was also look at um, is how they were treated versus, if it, if, um, versus um, Black Lives Matter oh, yeah. groups. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We had to you know. a different kettle of fish. So, you know, we have to just look on the whole thing and know, say, boy, yo, listen, man. You know, certain place and your place, you know. <laughs> You know, me just glad to say, I have some born and I have some live. Yeah. You know, I'm and really as glad. as one singer say, I'm an intent for Dan. Yeah. <laughs> and certain type of oppression with me, you see, I don't think it's worth mm. leaving for me. You know, me, 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 me all right, yeah, so. Real talk. You know, no things are going, so we don't like right. and, and could have been much better. You know, certain level of activities, crime and violence, corruption, you know, need to need get a hold on. Mm-hmm. But that's what they map up there, so this way I go on to come like child's play. True, true, true. You know, so we we'll see what I go on. Yes, and um, as we're on that, let me say big ups and shout outs to the Greens who are here in Jamaica, some of our avid listeners. And I had the privilege of doing that wedding about two, three years ago in Montego Bay. They're visiting. Good to have you in JA. Welcome to Jam Rock. I hope you enjoy the stay here. And of course, loud ups to all our friends and family of Real Talk who are overseas and are locked in. They find the time every night when they call (laughs) to tune in to the show and be a part of us. We're looking forward to hearing from you tonight. And of course, all our regular persons who call in and text in, we are thankful that you are here with us week after week after week. We appreciate it. Yes. All right. So All right. The tonight show is yes. one that's going to be done a little bit different um, from usual. We have a, an audio from a YouTube video to play to the listeners. And what we're going to be discussing tonight is the whole, what do I call it now? Uh, big word lady. <laughs> Find me a word. We, we, we want to discuss infidelity. Mm-hmm. Um, in kind of a different way from just a boy, a man, a game, a man, bun, or a woman, a gear, a man, bun, and so on and so forth. And, you know, we want to see, we want to dissect it, dissect it a little bit further mm-hmm. and see if we can not rationalize, but figure out why whenever it occurs it end up the way it, it usually does. Mm-hmm. And, if it, and if there is another way for it to end up. You know, so we're going to play an audio. Uh, we crave your indulgence. It's a little bit long, but it is very, very, very interesting. Very interesting. And please, listen to it. Don't leave. Listen to it. I had a client let's call her Hattie. And on the face of it, she seemed to have it all. She had the high-flying career, the three healthy kids, and 18 years of marriage under her belt to the wonderful Will. They had come together, stayed together, because they fitted both on a conscious, but also on an unconscious level. You see, Hattie had always been the golden child, uh, much loved by her family, never flunked an exam, never taken drugs, never so much as snogged anybody behind the bike sheds at school. 
Whereas Will, a musician, slightly different upbringing, uh, in and out of various boarding schools sent there by emotionally detached parents. He had been drawn to Hattie for her stability and her focus, and she had been drawn to Will for his slightly more creative, laid-back style. But together, they worked. If only Will hadn't opened Hattie's phone that day, checking for details of a family holiday flight, hadn't seen those texts from Hattie's colleague Stuart, texts that led Will to emails, emails that then proved to him that his wife had been having an affair for by now two years. Suddenly, this fantastic couple we're in crisis. Will is heartbroken and furious. Hattie is stunned and deeply ashamed. And all of their conversations keep circling back to this one question. Should I stay or should I quit? Now, how many of us have wondered privately what we would do if infidelity ruptured our relationship? Now, I respect that your view of infidelity might be very different to mine, but today I would like to share with you what my 20 years experience as a psychotherapist and radio agony aunt has taught me, which is that I am absolutely convinced the more courageous option is to stay and rebuild that relationship. Nevertheless, it won't surprise you to learn that infidelity remains the number one trigger for relationship breakdown across the globe. And sometimes that pressure to quit comes from external sources. There is no longer the same stigma around divorce. Your friends might say, hmm, can a leopard change its spots? Your mother might say, plenty more fish in the sea, my darling. But most times, that pressure to quit comes from within. Now, I toyed for a while with calling this talk a rapper's guide to infidelity because, uh, yeah, I know, <laughs> appearances can be deceptive. But seriously, for a while, I have been impressed by the candor of the rapper Jay-Z who has spoken out so movingly about the aftermath of when he cheated on his wife, the singer, Beyonce. In an interview with the New York Times, he said that when you see on the face of your beloved the pain caused by your cheating, it makes you want to run away, hide, quit the relationship and never come back. And that sentiment reminded me of all my training in child development how when a child is naughty and it makes mummy cross, they can only see themselves as a bad child and they can only see mummy as cross mummy, bad mummy, and it makes them want to hide. And the child psychologist, Melanie Klein, called this splitting. How at moments of high emotion, you want to split off those good and bad parts of yourselves, but also of others. This is how we feel as a result of a revelation about cheating. All of that high emotion makes us want to revert back to that childhood defense mechanism. Jay-Z is talking about exactly the same psychological split and Hattie and Will. They went through exactly that same process. In Will's face, Hattie could only see this broken, furious man. And in Hattie, Will could only see this monstrous woman who'd broken his heart and ruptured his family. But this moment of splitting is the turning point. This is the courageous bit to hold the sweetness and the sorrow in your heart at the same time. Jay-Z and his wife Beyonce looked inward, faced their pain and emerged to rebuild a reinvigorated relationship with each other as well as writing a couple of albums in the process. Now, not all of us are going to be able to channel our emotional trauma into platinum-selling music. More's the pity. 
but we can all turn it into something arguably even more valuable, a reinvigorated relationship with our same partner. How do we do that? One of the callers to my show put it very simply recently. She, Rita, thank you, Rita. Rita said, to be courageous is to be vulnerable. It is only by being vulnerable that you can attempt to override those default childhood defense mechanisms. But it's hard. It takes courage. For the one betrayed, it takes courage to admit being hurt, courage to examine events leading up to betrayal, and courage to rebuild your confidence. And for the betrayer, it takes courage to admit causing hurt to the one you love, courage to face your own guilt, and courage to do the daily work required to repair that breach of trust. Now, I think there are three things, three brave things that the betrayer needs to do quickly to repair that breach of trust. I call it SOS. You know how like in Morse code, SOS is the internationally recognized signal for distress. It says, we are in crisis. Well, betrayer, you are in crisis. This is what you need to do. Say sorry, take ownership and do the spade work. Sorry, ownership, spade work, SOS. With sorry, of course, you apologize for what you have done. But you have to be quite careful with the English language because the word sorry has got a little bit distorted of late. It is not enough to say, I'm sorry you're shouting at me or I'm sorry I'm currently having to sleep in the spare room. That's not quite what I'm talking about. You have to get to a place of true contrition so that you can say, I am sorry I broke your heart. All right, so we come back to the rest of that in a moment. But remember where it stopped, SOS, betrayal, you're in crisis, yeah? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we come back to that after we go into our discussion. For those who are just joining us, welcome, welcome, welcome to the show. We have a dear pastor with us, and she will be enlightening our darkness mm -hmm. from some biblical standpoint as well as some other moral standpoint as well. So we are going to be sharing the Vox Pop tonight? Well, we can discuss... Um, discuss that a little bit first. Yes. All right. Hmm. So why is it that the whole idea of infidelity, which from those who might not know, Infidelity is what you call it, cheating. Mm -hmm. Or as Daddy would say, one giving the other one layman terms, bun. And from what I understand, a lot of men, most men cannot deal with the infidelity. And while it is that women can't stand it either, I think more men than women have a serious issue with getting past it. For whatever reason, which Daddy Rude and King Mitchell will share with us and Donald and everybody else out there as males, will share with us why is it so hard for more men to get beyond the infidelity, look beyond it, and forgive a woman, say, for example. So, why does infidelity have to end with a breakup? Woman unfaithful or the man unfaithful, and the quickest thing you might hear the other partner say is, look, you know, this is done enough. I can't trust you no more, I'm gone. This not work out, go on by your business. Or they stop treating the relationship in the way that they used to before because they find themselves no longer interested. She cheat for me, do man give me a bun, and me not, me not, me not, me not, me not in her no more, me not rate her no more. Why does it have to end in deception? I'm sorry, why does it have to end in a breakup? Pastor, you want to take it on and tell us what you, based on what you have experienced in terms of dealing with persons and even from the biblical standpoint. Okay. Thank you so much for having me. You're good night welcome. to our listeners over there in Redland. It is good to be on the show tonight. 
Amen. God is good. All the time. Amen. The time. No, God is good. God is good. And so the question is, and uh, uh, you know, there's always going to be question, and you know, sometimes we, sometimes we can't find answers. Sometimes we just have to pray to the Lord, seek His way, you know, and um, we know that it's going to always be a way out when we when we seek the Lord. And so the the big question here tonight, you know, um, as we, we talk about infidelity, and infidelity, you, you, you know, we talk about unfaithfulness. Right. And so is um, when we talk about unfaithfulness, it it also lead to adultery, and you know, um, you know, as, as we are a ministers at the church, you know, we always look in the Bible, you know, to seek the way, or the Lord would have dealt with it. Um, but you know, as it, you talk about the topic tonight, and um, one of the questions I would have um, in my book here is, so what lead? What would lead, you know, that person to to this affair? You know, to have this affair, mm -hmm. um, to be cheating on his spouse, whether the, the male or the female? What would have them? You know, what would lead them to this? You know, and um, you know, sometimes we don't know, but we are here tonight, and we are big people, and you know, sometimes you know, even in church. You know, when we meet up on this topic, you know, some per, some elders, you know, they they run away, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and you know, mm -hmm. we have to be open and we have to, be, we, you know, we have to be truthful. Yes. And so, you know, what what could cause these um, things to happen? And I don't know if um, somebody would say that if somebody locks up. Mm -hmm. I don't know if if, <laughs> if, 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 if if somebody locks up. If somebody is not, um, you know, um, taking time out to spend time with their, you know, with their their spouse. You know, and, 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 and giving and, it up and, the way and, they want and, it, and, and, and all and these all things. Are, are, you know, mm -hmm. are they not, um, you know, making prepare themselves? You know, try to, you know, you know, keep up or be attractive, keep up and be attractive to their, mm -hmm. their spouse. Why they have to leave? Why? Why? What caused them to go on out? Mm -hmm. You know. So these are some of the questions. You know, we we have to have because you know we have to as you know, even as as woman as as the wife. You know. We have to prepare ourselves. We have to try to make, you know, make ourselves attractive to our husband and try to make them, you know, um, be around us. Yes, want you to know, be around us. Want to be time. around us yes. and, you know, prepare ourselves for that. And so if they're not getting that in the, in the, in the home, you know, they it might contribute. lead them to stray. They might, they might go on out and, uh, you, know, they, you know, they might be with friends. They might be going to the bar or someplace where they can have social, you know, activities, and they, you know, these things can, and they can caught, you know, they can be caught up. But, but Pastor, so, you have some women who will tell you, yes, that, look here now, I give him everything he want. As, as wife, I go up on head top, I give him everything, and the man still go there, <laughs> and do him I do. And so I always hear my, you know, when I, you know, I have some ministers that they will talk the truth, and say, we, we cook chicken every day. <laughs> and, you know, we have to prepare <laughs> to change the style of, you know, uh, preparation. The, the menu. Uh -huh. yeah, and sometimes, yeah. we, you know, we can jerk the chicken, we can stew the chicken, we can curry the chicken, yes, and we can, can. but there are times we have to, you know, we have to have different ways, different style of how to prep, um, preparation. Mm -hmm. And sometimes these, these, these um, style, you know, cause them to, you know, to go astray. And we don't even and cook too. So, sometimes and they cook. And may, may, may not even cook. Mm -hmm. Prepare all the way they, they want it, and sometimes they, they go out and see other, other, mm. way, other ways out. So there are many factors many that factors. would contribute to either person straying, as you said. Yes. And what about those women, for example, who, wives, girlfriends, who... The man tries to give them all they need or want. So all the material needs are taken care of. And then you find that this woman, she still just will have Mitchell, whomever else she finds because she what? she's greedy or, and she wants more. So she still finds herself going out despite getting even from the husband. Because those situations do exist too. Mm. Yes, but maybe, you know, they might um, be getting the, the, the glitter and the gold, but maybe, maybe there's something else that, uh, that, that, are, is, lacking. that is lacking. Mm -hmm. And so we have to seek to find out what is lacking. Because why they're straying? You know, maybe they're not getting um, um, what they need at home. Mm -hmm. So they, they, they go out. They, that, that's the road. They, they, they go out. Um, 
question. Seeking more. more. Is it in mm. the nature of a man to stray? Well, is, uh, it, is it innate? Well, <laughs> you, 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 you and I are put it now, you know. And I is a weak lady, you know. And I was born weak, you know. And I weak to you certain think things. You weak, men weak? I say, I and I. Oh. Weak to certain things. Who are you? Okay. Yeah. I and I say is that I am, is a, I am a representation of all, you know. But if you want to use me as a sample <laughs> it still. It's like a Bob Marley so. <laughs> if you want to use me as a sample, you may choose to do so. Oh. Oh but we look upon the wider spectrum of things, you know. The Lord is good, you know, because I've created many beautiful women out there. Fire and I weakness. So are you saying that you were created weak? Because I don't believe that. And I can say Jesus, you know, is every woman man still, you know. <laughs> I can oh, say it's that. Natural. It's I natural. can say Jesus of the most woman <laughs> on earth, you know, because I aim at the man for all of the woman them still, you know. Ladies, and I, and I no complain. Ladies, this is Daddy Road speaking, okay? We have and I, I no complain. <laughs> so if me see so many things are going right there, so I, and I want to emulate Ja. <laughs> Daddy Road. Lead by example. <laughs> see me? Then washing foot. But he's not having an affair with them now, is he? I know if I know I write a book still, you know, about, about Jai, and I know, I know I'm going to write certain things about Jai still, you know, because I'm a fool, you know. So <laughs> I don't expect the boy, those who wrote about Jai to, to write certain things. Them say, him have fish, and he make more leap of fish for share among all of us. Him could have keep all the fishes them to himself and embrace them, you know. <laughs> But him shit among us and say, boy, let it be plentiful. I and I do, I say, a plate of fish and me take a plate and me say, this plate and me take an next plate. So I don't know where I come ask me, say, if man just innate. We are emulate. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. I want to miss Bob just came down in his spirit and just touch him out. <laughs> we only emulate, you know. It's not in it. <laughs> and there are people out there I know who listening will be agreeing with that. <laughs> I know. Right? There are people out there who would be. be, be um, but you see, the thing about it still, you know, is that we have always been challenged with this thing of, of, of infidelity. Mm -hmm. Right? The only thing where Pastor Raymond say, what we always shy from is trying to figure out why. And I know uh, if once you're doing counseling, the why, the reason behind it yeah, is important. But me, me just feel that the why for me is not important. What would be important? Because you will never find a, you, you, will, you can never get an answer for why that is acceptable. But in the counselor's perspective, for example, even the pastor's perspective, yeah. the pastor would be that neutral ground right. where she, he or she understanding why can help to, to, to probably open the eyes all right. of the other partner. All right. all right. I don't think any answer to why is justifiable. So you're saying nobody so, telling so you why they cheat is acceptable? It can't be justified for, in, in order for, to, to be consoling to the person, the victim then, right? But, but are because you trying to console the victim or you're trying to help the victim to understand this well, is what well, 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 if me, or could have transpired? If me if in a counseling, a counseling session and them ask me, say, boy, why so, you cheat on your wife? Yeah, why you cheat on your wife? You have a wife um, working and blah, 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 all these things and why you do it? I'm say, boy, you know, say, I just said, feel for you sort out. I'm going to sort out and one sort out, little two sort out, one year, two year, three year, sort it out. That's the why. Mm. Would that be acceptable? I don't think moms are going to want to hear that. I think so neither. Right. I'm putting myself in the shoe listers and I'm saying, I don't so, even want him to sit there and tell me that that so, is the reason why he so did me it. Think, so I think the why, maybe, maybe if many counts like kick back one away and a reason, I say, mm -hmm. boy, because I Ray. But if the other person did it, mm -hmm. I don't think it would be a good question to ask. Even though that person asks whole power, why why you do it? Why you do it? It's one of those things where me think say it gonna come down at the end of the day for even the woman. I even the bridge if it's a man or the victim in this case. 
I go start to become um what what what's the word? The other word for jealousy. Insecure. Insecure. Yeah, start to question himself. What was I not? Am I not good enough? You start to feel away there. But we're going to go to the break and, and, and forward back. All it right. is now one minute after 10, ladies and gentlemen. And we also have another guest we're going to we're, 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 we're gonna link up with after the break. If we continue the discussion along with Pastor Raymond Lindsay. Lindsay Raymond, <laughs> right? The time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services and Real Talk is sponsored by Nestle. We're soon forward. Sim Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting, and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Taxi operators, come into Orion Insurance Brokers today. Through our doors, taxi operators have access to great rates and great customer service. At one of our 12 branches throughout the island, an insurance plan brokered to fit your needs awaits. Find us online at orioninsurancebrokers.com or call us at 876-920-0029-32. Visit us at our Port Antonio branch, City Center Plaza, 6 Harbor Street, Port Antonio, 876-541-2823. Morant Bay branch, 33 Queen Street, Morant Bay, St. Thomas, 876-320-2839. And Ocho Rios Branch, 20 Main Street, Cornerstone Plaza, beside KFC, 876-974-1460. Good day, driver. You notice that you're parking in a no parking zone. You know, so you can get a ticket for this, sir. Really, officer? But just want to pick up some hardware supplies, you know. Do me a bit. You give me a blind, huh? So if you need hardware supplies, why you don't go to Ramtula Supercenter and Hardware? Ramtula Supercenter and Hardware, 34 Folly Road, Port Antonio, Portland. We stock a wide range of products at the best prices in town. At Ramtula's Hardware, experience the three C's. Comfort, competitive prices, and convenience. Ramtula Supercenter and hardware opens 8 a.m. to midnight seven days per week call 715-5132 email ramtula supercenter at gmail.com remember we have the best prices in town, 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 town. Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high-quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high-quality white paper printing that is water-resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 893-2266. The views expressed on this program are not necessarily the views of Native Broadcasting Network or Styles FM. Welcome back to Real Talk with Daddy Rude and Lady Cleo and Pastor Lindsay Raymond um, showing us from the biblical perspective um, of infidelity, what infidelity even was like back then, because it's from way back. And I asked the question earlier, is, is it that men have a weakness? Why it is that they, you know, do the things they do as it relates to infidelity? Is there a weakness in man or in mankind on a whole? Is there a weakness? So Pastor Lindsay will pick up um, with an aspect of that from the Bible. Go right ahead. Okay, yes, and so we were talking about, even when they, we get the break, about uh, the life of David, King David, how he, um, he entered into infidelity when he, when he um, took over Uriah's wife while Uriah was in war. And so Bathsheba was there having a bath, and David, you know, on his premises saw her having a bath, and he, he thought that she was so beautiful. And so, as Lady Cleo was saying, that it seems as if men, you know, uh, can't um, control um, themselves, you know, when they see beautiful women. And so, you know, we were saying yes because, you know, we know have to take, you know, how far to take it, you know. But even that, even then, King David, you know, maybe could not, um, you know, control himself. Maybe that was one of his weakness with women. And you know, we know the story well. Oh, you know, um, King David, you know, get. You know, get um, 
but she was pregnant. Mm -hmm. And even in that too, when um, he realized that he, she was um, Yura's wife, King David sent, you know, and, and told the, 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 those in charge to put Uriah at the front of the battle. Mm -hmm. yes. So the poor and man could so, die. Yes, he, he lost his life in the battle. And so Uriah could take over. Um, Uriah died. And King, um, King David could take over Bathsheba. Mm. And so we know that you so know, like these envy. things. Yes, and so these things were happening a long time ago. Mm -hmm. But you know, when we look at it, David was a man of God's own heart. David, mm -hmm. yes, it was a man of God's own heart. And so, you know, when these things happen, you know, at one time David repented when David looked back and saw what he did when we look at Psalm 51, mm -hmm. when David cried out, you know, and, and, and cried to the Lord and asked the Lord to have mercy upon him. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, when we, when we, you know, when these things happen and, um, we, you know, we seek for, for healing, you know, you know, we, um, the, 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 the spouse or whether the male or female, you know, we have to acknowledge when something goes wrong. Mm -hmm. And you know, I, when, I, when we listened to the clipping, we, um, we heard that um, the, the, the person, the presenter was saying that sometime when we say sorry, mm -hmm. like sorry is so limited. Yes. It's not enough because sometimes our English, English language is so limited. Mm -hmm. And when we, even we say, you know, something's wrong and like that and we say sorry, it's, it's not enough. Yeah, some, sometimes so, this sorry doesn't even come across in the right me, way because, well, sorry, but you weren't good enough or you've not been good enough. That's right. You know, are you really saying sorry? Yes. Are you really acknowledging mm -hmm. what you have done wrong? Basically, that's what she was, she yes. was saying as yes. a presenter. Uh -huh. um, so, it, so it leads us back to people will say infidelity uh, yeah. is actually in it. Uh, <laughs> in it. And, but All right. Based on knowledge. what we are seeing. Yeah, yeah. but... And, you know, we have to acknowledge that, you know, we are, we are wrong. Acknowledge it. Mm -hmm. you know? We are wrong. Yes. I, I, let me ask you a question. I, we, I, I'm not sure if we, we, if we would know. Mm -hmm. Did David knew at the time, say, at the virgin wife? He, he knew. knew. He knew. He didn't know. He must know. King, he knew. David mm -hmm. a king, he knew everything. How much, how much woman he did, he did have at the time? Holy. Holy. A whole heap. A whole heap of wives and concubines and yes. so on. What's the difference between a wife, a lot of wives and a, and a lot of concubines? Sweetheart, mm -hmm. I guess. Yes, yes. So he <laughs> married to some. Yes, and I some guess. Was and and then, have, how, what was he doing with so many? He never tied and popped down. Them yeah, them tell them man I live till them are seven hundred in my girl. What are you talking about? Deliverance. Man firm and stern. Oh Jesus. <laughs> Oren in Calgary says, I think most people cheat because he or she not getting one hundred percent at home. Um where's the message? One hundred percent at home, so they leave eighty percent at home and I guess go out for the rest. Um someone else said I beg to differ. Mm -hmm. Not sure what's happening with the WhatsApp there. But, ladies and gentlemen, we are joined by a lovely lady. And as I said before, associate psychologist and guidance counselor, motivational speaker, president-elect of the Jamaica Association of Guidance Counselors in Education. Madam Wellington, pleasant evening to you and welcome to Real Talk. Pleasant evening to you too, Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. I want to say thank you for having me. You're welcome. welcome. It's our pleasure. Knowledge land, technology land. I won't say radio land. Yes. As my um, co-partner there, Pastor Lindsay State. But I want to say the first comment I want to make to this entire topic is to thine own self be true. Mm -hmm. Yes. I, I enjoy what is happening. I like the feedback that is given. I want to Lord again. Is it Pastor Lindsay Raymond? First name is Lynn. Pardon me? Pastor, Pastor Lindsay, Lindsay Raymond. Raymond. Yes. Raymond. I want to Lord her for the the lovely way in which she puts things on real talk. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say that, you know, a lot of persons would not say um, the lovely word that she uses real talk, but I know from the clergy that we have to make things the way they ought to be sounding for the ears that are listening. Yes. Um, I want to um, thank you for having me where infidelity is concerned. It has been a topic on my mind and for some of my clients yes. as to dealing with the entire situation. I, I don't want to delve too much into the 
really just our Christian spiritual aspect of it, but from a psychological perspective. Yes. And the reason I'm looking at it like that is culture plays a very important role in our relationships. Mm -hmm. And another thing is the development of individuals. You will find that persons develop differently across the lifespan, and so they react. And the perceptions that they have of what a relationship should be like will cause them to choose differently. Mm -hmm. And so infidelity True. in the in the psychological realm. Um, lady, oh, I'm sorry. My my goodly friend there, Mr. Rood, says, "Is it is jealousy a sin?" I would say yes from the Christian perspective, but when I look at it also. It builds a fear within an individual for the person to fear the worst thing happening within a relationship. Mm -hmm. The value system of, of what it is that you want to have out of your relationship, trust, commitment, um, that, that communication with your partner is highly respected and wanted by most individuals. And you will hear a person say, we can't trust him again. After mm -hmm. when you home for trusting, because that level of trust that he or she has placed in that individual was somewhat eroded by that 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 fling of one time, the Jay Z Beyonce story, yes, the pain, that fear that is seen in the other party's eyes is enough to say you are an idol. And Lady Claire, I want to share this with you. While I was listening in, one of the first things that came to my mind. And we have to look at it in our culture because man she have enough girl and yeah. girl in a bongo. Yeah. So when you look at it in our culture <laughs> I want to slap him, Missy. When, when you hear when you hear something like that in our culture, you have to stay back and look at entrapment. Yes. And we must not shy away from it in any shape or form. Because the truth be told is that sometimes males not only males, I'll get to the females in a short while. Males will get into a relationship with someone and want to leave. But one go, and it is enough for the other party to say, oh, I'm going to tell your wife, I'm going to go to your family, mm -hmm. and I'm going to let your children be disgraced. And the man for fear, for want of a better word, you know, while they were enticed by that female bathing on the rooftop, for, for, for that part of it, it was all good and pleasurable to the eyes. Mm -hmm. But now that they're looking at it as a commitment and something that will take away from them, not from one part, but they're going to lose that which they would have built for years. And, and you know, I, lose. I, as you said that, Arlene, it brings mm -hmm. me back to the point where, as you, as you just alluded pretty much, a man will have a woman in an outside relationship, which we, what we call it. So he has a wife, for example, or a girlfriend, and he's seeing mm -hmm. somebody else on the outskirts, and it's quite fine. She's being, uh, he's being unfaithful with this other woman, and he's quite mm -hmm. fine with it. But the moment this other woman gets into a relationship, let us say she says, oh, you know what? I want a man for myself. I want to have mm -hmm. my own person. And she were to get somebody who she could consider that. This man no longer is okay with that. He wants to have her on the side all to himself. Mm -hmm. And the moment she ever dare go find somebody else, she turns it's infidel. Bang, it's, it's bangarang to him. Infidel lot. So, so you see, <laughs> so you see what I'm saying when I say entrapment. It's yes. not just a male's perspective, because he doesn't want that. Because men, in psychology, we call it inferiority complex. Yes. They will. They will um have something. Mark you, Lady Cleo. Most yes. of the times, these extramarital affairs or these extra relationship affairs, they want no attachment. They will go through the motion of getting all that they are, the glitter and the glamour and the gold that mm -hmm. they're getting, but they are not attached. But when it comes to losing something, then a larger part of their ego, their mm -hmm. dominant ego, will tell them that I am at a threat level. Mm. And if you should sit and work it out as a psychologist too, to a, to a relationship, you will find out that it's not so much losing the relationship that they are fearful of, yes. but so much losing that power. Yes. 
I am that person that you should look to. And that is why I can conclude by saying jealousy is a sin because that much attention and, 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 and look to should be only given to your creator. But, but mm -hmm. le let me ask a question though. Sure. Wouldn't we agree mm -hmm. that jealousy is in it? And I would want to agree with you 100% whole heartedly. But, but like most but, things, I'm a behavioral therapist. So what I'll use is from the behavioral perspective. All right, we live good. What we learn. And, we and, what and, we learn indeed. And, and the reason why, why I ask that, and, I, and I'm really happy sure. you, you mentioned um, behavior, the behavior mm -hmm. aspect of it. Because yes. I've observed, right, babies, mm -hmm. even boy baby and their mother and their mm -hmm. father, mm -hmm. that if they see the mother and the father kissing, especially the boy baby, wants to go in between. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right? <laughs> and very, yes. right? And even when another child is born. Oh, yes. Jealousy comes in. So, Definitely. So why, when it comes to, say, an extramarital or, or infidelity, we look at it as, as there being sin, when it is a part of you to be jealous but, and to respond and react the way you are. I'm trying to figure out the, when does it take that difference? When is it? acceptable as a behavior you're a grown great tone man you're supposed to know the difference when you get a big and old man when you are a show up but it's three never been <laughs> when, when you're young <laughs> but um daddy road just let me get back to you you said earlier on in the program and you make allusion to it the nature nurture story you see yes we all can attest and and see some of these things coming out in life but it does not necessarily mean that everything that feels good to you is okay it's good right and, and some of the things, and I, I can take back my story right back to culture. Some of the things that we would have seen is a consistency, is a reoccurrence of all these years of how male-female, male-female relationship has been within our culture. Because I want to tell you, if you go to somewhere like Rome, probably, mm -hmm. or one of those places, they don't see infidelity as such a big deal as we do in our culture. Yes. Because um, they were not schooled that way. They were schooled to be forming trustful relationships, understanding that you trust your father, partner, but it must be consensual infidelity that they keep. They won't keep what we have here in Jamaica and take it as... Um, Very good point. And you're going to die and you, you, you have armed me in such a way. Oh, hold that thought, Arlene. So, so... so so you know she starts so, so, yeah, so, to sponsor so women women always though. wonder all right ask pastor because, yeah, because, she because, mentioned because what me that got mentioned cultures mm -hmm. they it's an agreed when they when they discuss and say okay it's okay to have multiple partners and mm -hmm. they live in that kind of lifestyle biblically that is unacceptable yeah. despite that, um david having multiple wives then you mm -hmm. know what dispensation no isn't that unacceptable where one man is expected to, to stick to one wife? Yes, in our culture, in yes. Jamaica, is one... Christian culture. Yes, Christian culture is yes. one woman. Yes, one man, right. one man to one woman. Yeah, because right. polygamy and polyandry is, is, is outlawed. Outlawed, right. Basically, yeah. So, and, 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 to, 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 to married. Yeah, so is it still infidelity, though? Before I go um, further, let me just acknowledge some persons on the WhatsApp line. Donald says, people cheat because of what is called sin, nothing else. Um, 502 says, Christianity is responsible for fidelity. Is it fidelity or infidelity, you wanted to say? I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. This person said, Mamumba. That's the person who's texting in. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, Shelly says, infidelity is a huge deal in those places, but only when females do it. Oh, my. What bias? <laughs> Man learn new style of road and give it to his wife. Yeah. That's what Washbelly Taz said. Mm. So if it is consensual, um, Arlene, mm -hmm. is it? Because I think I, I judged some things down while I was listening to that tape earlier. 
And if the other party agrees to it or knows about the other person, is that still considered infidelity? Yes. Then why is it that a man will accept it then because he's aware of it and doesn't accept it when he's unaware of it? I don't get it. No, but th that's what she okay. explained. But uh, uh, um, before you, before you um, respond, Arlene, I've always wondered, because when you mention Rome and them places in um, Europe and them things there, mm -hmm. I've always wondered why whenever you see um, mention of swingers, mm -hmm. it's normally to that side, you know. Mm. The, the, okay. the, the, the whole swinger thing, the whole group sex business, a lot of it is in a, the German, them place there. Mm. And a man will take his wife to another a couple's swingers party. house. Yes. Yeah, swinger, yeah, and swingers they party. all engage in that kind of thing? Yeah. And that is why we must, or uh, I shouldn't say must, that is why we should accept the religion that governs our um, geographical location. Mm -hmm. but, because but, of the truth, it shields us from some things. But is it the same one? overly protecting such a as a parent. Then no, Vatican of their room. Daddy Woods situation. You know? In Vatican of their room. I understand. Did the Bible isn't in Rome? What you say? What were you saying? Is the Bible isn't in Rome? No, Vatican. I didn't. Vatican? Yeah. But, then but, but, but. Then the Pope of the Bible King, man. Hmm. Let us not let us not get into that because if we got into that and I start to give you a little bit of history, my straight program I would yes. from infidelity. Yes. The, the, the truth, Lady Clear asked the question, if it is infidelity, if it is done like that and it's acceptable, it is. And the reason why it is is that infidelity is, is um, the, the definition that was given or one that I found when I was doing my research mm -hmm. states that it affects the emotion and the relationship in itself. So if it is something that is going to be bearing on the relationship, then one party is bound to suffer over the other. But you see, Jamaican culture, yes. as to say, but a lot of us, we shock up before we get married. And mm -hmm. then when we get married, there's a perception of a mighty change. And it really isn't so. Or that is so be. not true for real. For some. For but, so, well, yes, for some, because right. sometimes it gets yes. worse after the marriage. Worse after. And that is because of the perception that we would have formed. Mm -hmm. What is it that we're expecting a marriage to be? And to be truthful, our parents sometimes contribute to, to some of the things because they would not discuss in all heartedness what is happening. And because we are mostly from Christians, Christian homes, mm -hmm. we tend to just move out of... Um, young adulthood straight into marriage. Mm -hmm. I have a and comment here. Going into the church, right. The rest of fairness and we're going to, to some of the things that we must um, be a part of a community. And then that community grows us. But a lot of the times we are not told some things until it's way too late. Some of the commitment would have gone through the gate and then persons stay because of because of children or yeah. investment and so on. I have a comment here. I have a comment mm -hmm. here from a from our texter, and either yeah. yourself or pastor can um, tackle it. Christianity, the person says, is responsible for infidelity, and I would love to know what the person means. Or fidelity. Infidelity. Say so Christianity is responsible for infidelity. Jealousy okay. is planted in the Western world. By Christianity. Okay. Pastor. Pastor, you have a Pastor, perspective on that? Christianity. So the person said that Christianity is responsible, responsible for, for is a cause of infidelity. And I'm not sure why. No, because maybe because you see infidelity um, in the Bible is sin in a theoretical style. Yeah. And um, um, there was a time when um, when this woman um, in the Bible, um, when they, they, they brought her to Jesus. And, and said that um, they, they found her um, in idolatry. Yes. In the very act. And so, in the very act of idolatry. And so, they, they, they brought her to Jesus, and so they want Jesus now to, you know, to bring justice. Mm -hmm. So they, they stood there, and so while Jesus was there, Jesus um, stood down on the ground and was writing something on the ground. Mm -hmm. And so um, they waited, and so he, they, Jesus said to them, anyone of you without sin, you cast must the cast the first stone. stone. Mm -hmm. 
he would have seen cast the first stone. Yes. And so none of them could have, could have chose a stone. Mm -hmm. And all of them go one by one and leave the woman with Jesus. Mm -hmm. And Jesus said to her, any one of these, any one of them um, um, throw stone on you? Mm -hmm. And she said, not one. He said, any one of them condemn you? And she said, no, not one. And Jesus said to her, neither I. Go thy way and sin no more. So go your ways and sin no more. Mm -hmm. And so that was sin then, but Jesus um, did, dealt with it because what he was saying that all of us have sinned. Yes. And so he, maybe he was saying that infidelity... is not just is the not, only sin. So the way, well, people just look at one thing. Yes, one and thing sometimes. And say sex or infidelity or idolatry yes. is sin. But what I understand, so how, come, how come they not care the man who should have come with the infidelity act with? That That's a very good question. Daddy Rude, ask that question, are you, L. Jackson? Because it's, no, it's not Daddy Rude. <laughs> no, man. That's a very good question, yes, Arlene. They always the condemn the females mm -hmm. and the know. men out there who have the trailer load. Trailer load. You don't hear a thing. Mm -hmm. Nothing about that. About I, them. Again, you, you, said, you know, I said to you, culture plays a huge yes, role. Yes, and I let, hate let, that culture. Let, let, let me ask a question yes. because we're, we're mm. trying to find, a, we're trying to find a, a different person perspective towards this whole infidelity business. Now, in your experience as minister and your experience as, as a um, psychologist. psychologist, have you ever been in a situation where you say, boy, the affected couple is there along with the boner man or the boner woman? Yes. How would that go? All right. To be honest with you, I, I don't really want to divulge much information. Yeah, but... But I have had a case, and I'm just sharing, where... The male was okay with the female doing this. Okay. He gives his consent, and they have a very loving relationship. I could not fathom for the mind of myself going in at that time. Yes. What was expected or how do I deal with? And I had to seek divine intervention. Mm -hmm. And I asked the question that was most relevant to me at the time. But what, what, how do you see this relationship reflecting on your children? Mm -hmm. And should they find out, how would you want to treat with? Mm -hmm. and, and I don't know, but I think maybe that was a very good question to them because it, it, it gave a wake-up call and the person that was on the outside mm -hmm. was automatically asked to leave and, and, and they desist from the move, just change the geographical location to, to ensure that Things might, each party might have a fair chance. So we find these things in our culture, and we will find persons accepting it. And let me tell you something that you, whether you want to know it or not, the female is a better eye of, of extramarital or infidelity relationship than the male. Anyway. True, 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 true. <laughs> no, no, wait, 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 wait. I would agree with yes. you a hundred percent. They do a better job um, than than Arlene. us. Somebody yeah. just texted him to say that man is impotent. Would you agree that if no. a man says, look, uh, to, to his wife or his girlfriend, I would want the other person who has been a part of this union to be here. Would you agree with her comment that the man is impotent? That's why he did that? No. No. I wouldn't agree I would with that. Agree. I would not agree. There are some people who just want the clarity and they want the closure. And if bringing the person there will give them that, then they'll accept that. The honesty. Yeah, right. Yeah. All right. And, and, and it comes from both parties. All right, we're going to go to the 10.30 break. Um, don't hang up. Sure. We're going to go to the break, and then we'll get back to the, to the discussion. And, and then we're going to introduce to the, to the listeners now the Vox Pop question that are going to continue us. All right, All right, so the time is now 10.30. 10 the time is brought to us by... BJ Printing Services. And Nessa, Native Entertainment Stage, Audio and Lighting. They sponsor... Real Talk. So come. <laughs> Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting, and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Delrose Green and also Real 
Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Do you have or are you seeking a place to rent? Seeking employment or have a job vacancy? Are you selling a car or having a garage sale? Then come see us. Let Styles do the advertising for you and you'll be on your way in no time. Contact us at 439-5160. Advertising Style. Advertise with Styles. Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high-quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high-quality white paper printing that is water-resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 8 Eight nine three two two six six. The views expressed on this program are not necessarily the views of Native Broadcasting Network or Styles FM. Mm-hmm. We're back with you on Styles FM. We're back with you on Real Talk. And we have the pleasure of having Pastor Lindsay Raymond with us and guidance counselor and psycho- psychologist Orlean Wellington with us as well. So welcome back, ladies. And for those listening in, remember you can call in. Um, they can make the call in still? Uh, no, because we, we, we have um, right. someone so on the line. We, uh, we persons have can call from the 954 nine from overseas. 938 um, seven, seven, Yeah, but the local number is, number is presently engaged. The local number is presently engaged. Um, but if you... Well, yes. We're, we're going to give out the... The, the box pop questions right so um so per, so, so person can basically follow um with us earlier oh, earlier we we did a an audio that is was taken from youtube i should have actually given the the um what do you call it disclaimer no not the disclaimer when you give credit to what's the word what's the word i don't know my brain has copyright no yeah, the whole give them the, the credit for their copyright. It's, okay. it's not it's not our material, not our material. right? Okay. So we should we should have a couple of reference it basically. Yeah, um, yes. So you're gonna share the vox pop issue or idea tonight. Hello, real talk family. Love versus infidelity. At elementary level, we were taught that caring is sharing. Then, can you explain why sharing of partner or partners seems to have been exempted? Is jealousy a sin? Can you find forgiveness for a cheating partner and move onward positively in the relationship? If so, explain why or why not. How do you differentiate if you really no longer love your cheating partner? Or is it that you have run out of forgiveness? I'm sure you haven't gone 70 times 7. <laughs> so, question. We have our statement. We have been taught to care and to share. And that caring is sharing. And if we share, then we are caring. So the question is asked, why then? If one were to share his or her partner, that aspect is exempted. And is jealousy a sin? And we heard uh, Miss Gooden Wellington telling us earlier that yes, jealousy is a sin. And can you and find. And Pastor endorsed it. Pastor endorsed it as well, yes. Can you find forgiveness for a cheating partner and move onward positively in the relationship? It can happen, but how many people are willing to allow that to happen? And then there are some people who will tell you, I can't forgive. Me can't forgive her. Mm-hmm. And this is the man where I cheat every day. I get her the whole bakery of bunnings. And him can't forgive her. But then she, he would want her to forgive him. Every time he goes out there and come back, he would want forgiveness. Mm. Can you find forgiveness for a cheating partner and move on onward positively in the relationship? How do you differentiate if you really no longer love your cheating partner or is it that you have run out of forgiveness? So, do you think, Pastor, for example, and I'm going to go real talk now, Mm. do you think you'll be able to find it in your heart to forgive your spouse if you were to discover that your spouse cheated? 
So you ask pastor yes, that? Yes, so I ask pastor. Yes. But pastor, I'm going to tell you yes. Our relationship, you know, um, it, it builds and, you know, we have to learn to forgive. Yes. Um, that is a part of the, you know, a part of the, the, the marriage. Yeah. And so forgiveness has to be in it. And so if you do, do ask a question, yes. I would, if I would find place in my heart. The Christian part of you would definitely yes. find it to be forgiving. Yes, I would know that it's not going to be easy. Mm -hmm. Me, miss. Put your hand on, boy. <laughs> but I would definitely find peace in my heart. Right, to forgive. Because I, 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 you know, I, I would love my spouse. And I, would, I would love for the marriage to go on. Right. You know, to, to keep our marriage because, you know, we made a vow before, before the Lord. And, you know, before the family. And, you know, right. and so we, we would love to for it to go on. So we say definitely yes. Arlene. Should I know self be true? Should I know self be true, come, yes. Yes, many of us commit infidelity emotionally. Yes. And so I don't know if I could say no. I would have to say yes, because maybe I would be found guilty of saying that um, I engage in um, I conversations that maybe I should I've considered engaging my husband with, mm -hmm. but because I feel more comfortable talking to somebody else. What about my therapist? I might have been, I'm committing an infidelity relationship, talking to somebody about something that is um, intimate. Mm -hmm. So infidelity is not just about the sexual contact. Yes. Or, or the contact of... of, of um, can be mental. Of, it can be mental, emotional. Emotional, so, psychological, so yes. I, I need to say yes. I will find it in my heart to forgive because I am not without sin. Uh, how, would you, how would you look at the situation where the man decides, hey, look, I trusted you for years. So while it is that you could say, I could forgive my husband if I were to find this out or discover this. But on the other side, the man might say, you know what? I trusted this woman for so many years, and she come do this, and me find out this, me can't forgive her. Would you think that he's not being Christian-like if he feels the opposite to how you would feel? No. There are two different um, entities of humanity, you know. Yes. And I'm finding out that males are quicker to go now than women. Yes. But the reality is, for me, um, if, if he thinks that he cannot go any further, then I need to give him a space for healing. Mm -hmm. Because healing is not something that comes overnight. It's just as if you lose that, a loved one to death. You don't forget the person the same day the person dies. Mm. It takes time, and even when it takes the time, you still don't forget. You have the memories closed, but there are some aspects of it that you learn to live with. So, so I am not disputing that there will be a place that we cannot forgive each other. Then. On his side, if he decides he can't forgive me, then that's up to him and the Lord. That is why I said persons need to know what they're getting into truthfully before they get into it and know the person that they're getting into it with because some people will not go that far mm. and can't allow themselves to go that far. Right. But if you know the person, who the person is, then you will know what to expect from the person or even to cushion a blow off. Bye-bye. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. hmm. You know, Daddy Road, there are some men who, as I said before, they are the master cheating and infidelity. Yes. But if mm -hmm. they ever discover that a woman who they call a preps, as you put it, <laughs> is giving them bun, as we put it, then it, it drives them literally crazy. But then they are out there giving the same preps. All the things in the world that she's not even looking for. No, there's a difference. You know, you have what to, is the difference? You have, you have to understand the thing. Uh-huh. See? You see, you say the man master. He master it, yeah. man. Which would tell me, say, boy, he might do him thing, but him not disrupting home. And your point is? My point is that mm -hmm. if, if the man not disrupt home, there should be no the problem at home. The woman not disrupt home neither. No, so why but, is there a problem? No, but... <laughs> The only way a home get disrupted, you know, is when the thing busts. When it busts, you know. Because, mm -hmm. you see, you know, for the time, the sorry, I really sorry, you sorry, so then find out, you know. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, man. Oh, my goodness. You're and it should not be. Bec yeah, because it should be, but you're sorry, then find out. Because now, now that them find out, you see the pain. If you never find out, the pain wouldn't go on. 
Let's see right? what Tigo says there. I want to thought that wrote. Tigo says, who remember the dog that sees its reflection in the water? It mm. was a bull. Mm. It goes to show that man will always want more. Mm. Thank you, Tigo. <laughs> Doesn't mean that they're to get it, though. <laughs> Doesn't mean that they're to get everything that they want. 502 says, it should never be anything. It should never be anything wrong in sharing partners. Sharing mm -hmm. is caring. Lord have mercy. Mm -hmm. Good night. Good, let's, let's read that one, Daddy Road. Okay, I see it, good. Good night. Infidelity is... Ubiquitous. Ubiquitous, yes, that's the word. Mm -hmm. Because it's not just sex. What actions would equate infidelity? DSA in Port Antonio. All right, thank All you. All right, because... Counselor said a thing you know, earlier in terms of um, you can cheat emotionally or, or commit I I infidelity emotionally mm -hmm. and all of these things. And we have, we have discussed that on more than one occasion on Real Talk. Mm -hmm. Now, for me, you see, you see, forgiveness is a whole different thing, you know, and forgetting is a whole different thing. And then losing trust or maintaining trust is a whole different thing. But you can build it back. And love is a whole different thing. Yes. And I've said before, in my opinion, people should separate trust from love 100%. Do not mix them with them oil and water. Trust is the biggest enemy of love. <laughs> the biggest <laughs> enemy of really? love. Yes. Because everything is okay. Mm -hmm. And we love each other and all is well. And, and the moment you found out that some form of infidelity has come into play, mm -hmm. you no longer trust me anymore. Mm -hmm. And because you can't trust me anymore, love gone. you tell yourself, say, you don't love me. But I love you, you don't love me no more. You love me the same way, but you don't trust me. Mm. Oh. I agree. So they don't right? mix up the two? No. Trust is the worst, worst, worst. Is, is an we call it, arch enemy of love. I must show it over there so and deal with trust and show love over there so and deal with love. And don't mix them because them, them, them just will never be friends. But there are people who will tell you Trust that come like brother and say. <laughs> <laughs> there are people who will tell you that love, like trust is a branch from love. No. No. Because the moment pastor mm -hmm. loves her husband, trust. automatically... Mm -hmm. She's gonna trust, trust him. Not necessarily. To take care of her. Trust him to say what he says is true. He trust him to say when he goes to work and he's working gone. So that love will automatically no. cause you to want to no. trust the person. So no. Must build trust many too. times, many times you love someone even before you trust them. Yes. Right. That happens. You too. love somebody before you trust them. Trust are something where you earn. You can't you can't see somebody and just love them, you know. But yeah. you don't see nobody and just trust them. <laughs> a two different something. Right? Arlene? So, Could I say something? Yes, yeah, go ahead, I'm Pastor. Him. Hold I'm on, right. hold on, Arlene. Hold on. Let's okay. hear what yes, Pastor. Yes, one of the things that I uh, hear our counselor was saying that um we you know we should know what we're going into. Yeah. You know. Um I think she was saying that we have to know who we're getting married to or something. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so yes, and so I like that part. And so it is important too. Yes, that is important that we know um what we are going into. And even before we get married, you know, we should um, seek counseling, you know, seek, seek advice. Yeah. And, you know, it, it is very, very important that, um, that um, um, we should go into counseling before we get married because, you know, we need to know more pastor, going into it. Before you go no further, mm -hmm. I feel that enough of the girlfriend and boyfriend business forget get counseling to before they even reach marriage because enough people are ready for that the girlfriend and boyfriend relationship with them in a enough yes. people yes. so counseling should have start from even er, before that no say boy yo you see if you take up that yoke there expect to get some bun you know All and right. if you do get the bun you have to deal with it this way and you show them the right way not the daddy road way you have to show them the right way you know that's all right because in many, in many of the situations that end up unfortunate they are not husband and wife situation mm -hmm. I, 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 what, what the word them a common law situation. Mm -hmm. okay. So, 
a lot of the things that are happening now and the jealousy we are and, and we are going and the cheating no fight on a, on a um, marital relationship it's just as a, a the marital one them reach counseling mm -hmm. but you have persons who have some sitting in at them from before them even engage in a marriage and also when people start to re reach marriage maybe the bad things them are negative them that happen, them, happen to them in a girlfriend and boyfriend stage. time mm -hmm. stage but when they probably even meet somebody who said they're going to marry them and them do married, they expect out. the fairy tale when it happen because are your boyfriend they married, you know? Mm -hmm. So people now, I know the prince charming. Mm -hmm. At the same crow crow whole daddy road they married, you know? <laughs> so you have to understand, say, look, if you know, say, the person was a person where, where God danced and loved dance, even worse, you meet them a dance. No expect the boy them for just automatically stop God as I stop wanting to yearn to go to dance. Mm -hmm. And that's the problem with some people, they tend to want to change the partner. The partner. Because when you go dance, King, when you go dance, you, you, you don't try to find out one, three, four, five girl for dance with. Mm -hmm. And the girl might dance with three, four, five man. They know she's married, you know. A one man, she locked down for but she really want to bubble for a couple more man, you know. Honey, more bubble pan, couple more woman, you know. And as Pastor said uh, earlier, a misery that's not better. Yeah, you you would need to know who yes. you're getting yourself involved Into. with. Right. And as Arlene also admitted, you know, you you need to know where what it is that you were in before, who this person was before, mm -hmm. and sad to say, marriage in some regard can be viewed as a fairy tale situation where on that day all the things that Tom Stroke would probably would, would have done before and all the things that you knew about Tom Stroke you can't deal with and you can't stand that about him or about her it's all gone through the window that day all gone and the fanciness of the day and the occurrences and the friends and the dress and the well, venue everything I, I, I tell just you something. clouds a, lo a, a lot of persons put more em emphasis on the wedding and yes. not on the marriage. Right. And the honeymoon must come to an end. Must yes. come to an end. Must. See, you see, and, and my thing on that, that he would have um, spoken to most of what I would have said. Mm -hmm. If you are getting into a relationship and you, you fail to acknowledge the obvious, the reality of your partner, you are going to go into something blindly. Yes. Because at the end of the day, as I said to my parents when I speak with them, you knew that the man was a farmer before you have a child with him. Mm -hmm. Now that you have a child with him, you have left him, and the child is now in t at pitch field. Don't expect him to be working much more money than he was working before, so he's going to give you a lonesome. True. It's, a, it's an unrealistic situation. It's the same thing that goes for relationships. Mm -hmm. If, as Daddy will say, if you used to go down some bubbles, he must still want God and some bubble. Mm -hmm. If you want to stay in the bed, then stay. And if you want to have a Christian life, then that is expected of you. But remember that the scripture tells you that the, the you staying in bed might just win him over to want to stay. No force him to do it because he has to do it in his own time. Mm -hmm. And relationship has to work off a of machinery of agreement. Yes. And it cannot be a part that you want something and you don't care about what the other person wants. Pastor put it nicely to say you have to cook the meat differently. You have to do the things that you need to do differently, yes. whether you are male or female. And sometimes when the lady wants to go outside on the bench under the tree and do a little thing, you no, you can't. No, you have to get out of yourself and you have to understand that you are different individuals and you are coming together and you have decided, it's a, an agreement that you have decided to become one. So when you come, become one, you make it happen. But infidelity will happen if there's something lacking. Mm -hmm. I went abroad and I heard one of my friends said something because I saw her somewhere and I said, what were you doing? And she said to me, well, if me not get it abroad, I'll never get it abroad. Mm -hmm. So some of the things that we, mm -hmm. we shy away from, we need to really open our eyes and look at them and understand that this can happen because of the personality type that I have mm -hmm. and I need to fix something to make it work. Mm -hmm. True, 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 true. Mm -hmm. But you see... One of the things that we're, that we're Lady Claire ask, which is kind of difficult for men, is to how to, to, to look at it in terms of, say, you're going to forgive the woman because you, you would have yeah. on the road and do certain things. Mm -hmm. Right? Do, do, does women really want to be on the road? 
Um, all right. If you I know, can answer that, um, women, women are long distance runners. Yeah. You know, you have the ass and the ass one for eight furlong and you're done. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm tired. With that. No. Women are not like that. You're That's the furlong. personality of the other party. Mm -hmm. So if you want to look at it, the female will want to go into a relationship that is going to be in for the long haul. And when you stop a road, they will stop and forgive you, you know. And you get out of breath with the eight furlong many, many times right. in the long, on the long road. But they forgive. But men need to understand the heart of loving in order to understand forgiving. And many men, sad to say, do not know that because they drew to the lady on a sexual premise. Yes. There's nothing wrong with that. And, and, and Pastor says something is wrong. Something is wrong. Solomon was the wisest man, but he did not know the heart of a woman. Sad to say, Hold he would not have gone through so much if he, he had knew Counselor. what a woman was all about. Counselor. True, true, true. Men need to wise up, man. Counselor. Despite our complexities, they need to learn yes. to know about us. Counselor, yes. pastor, yes. and my co-host. Yes. <laughs> I'd want you ladies to tell me. Mm -hmm. Because this is something that I saw on social media and it and I was trying to figure it out myself. And the lady said, if you can understand why a pizza comes in a square box, <laughs> it is circular, oh, yeah. and it is served in triangle, then you can understand a woman. <laughs> yes, you are saying you can't pick a circle in a rectangle? <laughs> so, no, she's saying if you can understand why. Mm-hmm. A pizza which is round comes in a oh, which is round, round. is uh, comes in a rectangle okay comes in a rectangular box and is served okay. in rectangle as, as, as triangle mm -hmm. and, and when you eat it you eat it in, in triangle then you can understand and a woman. woman so there's nothing wrong with, with Solomon not understanding <laughs> a woman <laughs> <laughs> absolutely nothing okay. <laughs> you know that, 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 that's beyond... We're not that complex. <laughs> I don't want to think that I know everything. But that is something I will go and research. <laughs> <laughs> oh my you know, goodness. one of the things, still, you know, mm. why it hurts so much, Lady Clear, is yes, that tell us. we tend to believe that women cheat out of vengeance. That what might be true. Women? That women commit infidelity yes. out of vengeance. And so, the men do so it out of just lost. Lost. Yes. Out of what? Lost. lost. Mm -hmm. Oh my. Um, oh, so that should make it easier on the woman to, yeah. to accept it? No, I can't I can't speak for that. I, can't. I know you wouldn't be Hold able on. to speak for that. I, I don't think it would be reasonable for a man to basically repetitive rep repeatedly ask for forgiveness for committing the same crime. Yeah, but, and they do. But I I'm saying I don't think it is, it is reasonable, right? However, Daddy, me, hold on. Daddy wrote, cases. I am eating pizza as you talk. <laughs> yes, love it. <laughs> Welcome. And Donald says she must try to do it on the hotel, hotel balcony, balcony sometimes. Okay? You know, but oh my. May, may I say, when you look on the the idea of, say, a man cheat because him just have that desire that, or that urge. Mm -hmm. And then the woman fed up yeah. and said, boy, she will give him a taste of her own medicine. Because in, in a lot of situations, you know, a woman do it, but the man don't know, but she get that privilege. Say, you can't say they go on. I can go on. I show him, him no know what go on a John shop. Mm -hmm. The vengeance of, of it. I'm certain, you know, when the man there wrote a do it, you know, him not think about Yes. Say boy, yes. even if you hurt moms, you know. He might think what's the boy might enjoy himself. He's and, selfish. And and in many cases, there's some guilt probably in him heart about it. No, they don't have no right? guilt. But in my guy road. In my guy road. In my guy road, I know say boy, he might have a sneak or nothing, but the female now, when the thing get boss and you hear it and you hear all the thing go. Right? 
it's is, an ego. It's more, it's it's more, a man's it's ego. More, it's bruised. It's more of vengeance. His friend going here all in, and him not want you. Yeah. And him friend, him figure out here, say, Moms, but, but, keep no, the one guy down the road. We have yeah, a but, nice, big, strapped in body and look good, but, boy, turn good. His ego yeah, but, is bruised. That's what is killing yes. them. Listen, mm -hmm. if many men really think about it, you can be the top or the best of all best. Not even all the women probably say are the best. A lot of people will say, or women will say, boy, oh, and him got look on that woman where he got take up. You see the white question mm. there? The white question there? Mm -hmm. Prin pr the principal clear, standing. right? Well spoken, well known. Have a person, the person date somebody else not so well known, clear of course. And say, look, mm -hmm. when you go take up. But if you go take mm -hmm. up somebody of a status where clear within herself, probably rank higher than her, waiting to be a problem there. It's question of your days. When you take up somebody where I think of a higher. Yes. Right, but at the same time. Because now I feel smaller. But but when you know cause in but you know cause and say you never gotta take up nobody, you gotta take up the careless girl. And that's what I say, you no. Know. But what the man but up the thing. Mm -hmm. While I agree with you, I must say again, it comes back to culture and our yes. socialization. Because society dictates what we do, you know. Mm -hmm. Even when we, most of the time, the persons who walk, walk because of what society says and not what they're really True, true. Do. But the, I know the, the, studies true. Might show, the study might show that um, as the person, in the, the therapist in the first in the, the clipping says that that um, the friend and the mommy say more fish out of yes. sea and so on and so forth. So the, the, the impact that that is playing on the psychological aspect of the individual, the mentality of the individual, is to leave, 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 do not forgive. Right, that is true. Right, and then that will that will make you want to think within your heart. I really chew in and go pick up the old coffee girl and she nothing and then it damages self-esteem. Mm -hmm. yes. Because if you look good like me, my self-confidence I used to do my hair and look so nice and all of a sudden I start breaking down. And because yeah. of who the, the portrayal of what that girl depicts that 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 we are seeing, lowering the standard of the individual. Mm -hmm. So of course True. this is going to be playing on our emotions and playing on what it is that we would have believed in and the trust that would have put in that individual. So even though you hear Pastor said that that, that that these things happen, they have been happening from that time. Jesus Christ is wise enough in his wisdom to say that everybody have a sin enough. But my sin, not because I am doing this publicly, mean that your sin is less of a sin than mine. Mm -hmm. And so it comes back again to um, religion or Christianity and the balance that it seeks to, to, to play in our lives as individuals. But society will always depict the outcome of most of us lives and relationships because of what we, how we look at ourselves to them. Mm -hmm. You know, um, one of the things I told you, know, may. I have a friend where she said, in a fair relationship, them don't involve the rest of the mm -hmm. family. Mm -hmm. Okay. So with everything, she said, unlike with some of her friends, where they would have probably even call her and talk to her about certain things, they would be of the impression that her relationship, that they are a model Perfect. couple. Mm -hmm. Right. So mm -hmm. they would be a model couple. But she said, them, them do have them problem. Right. But she not talk it out. Like that, and whatever it is for work out, she and her husband, them work it out. Mm -hmm. Because once you start get other person's opinion, it start to make you try to even please them. Because you don't want them to say, oh, you're an idiot. Mm -hmm. But yeah. one thing is important. Nobody going to love your partner the way how you love them. They're not going to feel the way about your partner the way how you feel about them. they never going to feel even the pain where you feel. Mm -hmm. That's true. What they're going to feel is say, yo, Ditch. That's my diss my friend. That's my diss my brother. That's my diss my sister. Out. Come out of that. Mm. So she said, from certain other experience, which she experienced, based off of what other people gone through or going through, mm. them keep their relationship to themselves mm. and them fix. She said, you know, if her husband do a thing out of the road or whatever it is, them have to work on it internally. Mm -hmm. Not many people can do that. No, if we go get our mother involved, our sister involved, our mm. brother them involved, and our this involved. And him go get feel mother or whoever involved. It's not about them. Them never take no vow together. 
They, they, right. They never did they went bills for pay and went this for that and went pay. You know? And then work it out. But you know, why don't you, okay. when my, when my wife do it, do me with kill my vibes counselor? <laughs> my wife tell me, say, make it me for them problem to try to get her husband. That kill me vibes. Say <laughs> what? Make it me for them problem to try to get her husband. Right. She don't stress herself over not make it me for them problem. You know, my vibes why, are, why is it that you're feeling? No, I, I shouldn't be asking you this question on here. Eh? <laughs> but how come you're feeling um, that it's killing your vibes? The trill. He's protected. The no. trill gone. You see? He gone. The trill, trill. Yeah. Remember, me, me, remember, I'm a weak, you know. Remember, I declare from early out, I'm a weak, you know. No, Rastafari. No, no, Rastafari. Counselor, one minute after 11, we're going to go to the break. The time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services and Real Talk okay. is sponsored by Nessal. We're soon forward. Draftsmen and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high-quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high-quality white paper printing that is water-resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 89 do you have or are you seeking a place to rent seeking employment or have a job vacancy are you selling a car or having a garage sale then come see us let styles do the advertising for you and you'll be on your way in no time contact us at 439-5160 advertising style advertise with styles Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting, and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. The views expressed on this program are not necessarily Necessarily the views of Native Broadcasting Network or Styles of it. Welcome back to Real Talk or Vox Pop tonight. Love versus infidelity. At elementary level, we were taught that caring is sharing. Then can you explain why sharing a partner seems to have been exempted? Is jealousy a sin? And we have delved into that one. And we are still into this aspect of it that says, can you find forgiveness for a cheating partner? and move onward positively in the relationship explain so we're going to be going to that section a little bit more and how do you differentiate if you really no longer love your cheating partner or is it that you have run out of forgiveness mm, and mm, we have mm. with us pastor lindsey raymond and guidance counselor and psychologist arlene gooden wellington on the phone lines all right so Question, uh, before we go to the question, Donald is on, um, on the text line and Donald says, so he felt a little bit better when we discussed earlier that um, I feel a little bit better when I get born from a man who have more money than me and not a man lesser than. So there are people who will feel great if the person you went to be with has, has it more mm -hmm. than you do. And there are people who will feel crappy and feel less than mm -hmm. if they found out that who you, the person, the partner went and had an affair with is Straight less up. off than they are. Straight up. Dana, you're my big brother. But the lesson that I not take it from you, you know. <laughs> you want to keep that lesson. I not depend on that. Because let me tell you this. Growing up as a youth, see, I now forgot the day when the girl, when me did love me like a preps. Mm -hmm. I didn't even get nothing. The man where she take up Drive past and splash me up. You can't tell me I'm spite that. <laughs> <laughs> when me am like a chopper bicycle. Mm -hmm. To today day. When no brakes? You didn't have brakes. <laughs> but to today day, me, I'll just feel it splash a while ago when me I talk about it. <laughs> I am scarred. So, Donald, me know so that, brother did, that brother they did have more money because they tell me a school boy and I'm a big man both town in you know, them vehicle. Right? <laughs> so, me now nah take up that, Donald. Uh, me know if you're a fox, especially males. 
once you hear say your woman take up a next man and the man better after you, you're gonna feel bad in yourself. Mm. Right? Because number one, we women women second God a money. So once you know say the money. <laughs> Once you once you know say the money have look, I remember saying I'm done declare say Jesus you know, a woman king that you know, brother. Jesus have the most woman you know. The next thing where woman love next is whatever can take care of them bills. Whoever And their families can take care of them bills. Money is important. Right? So if you as a man know say boy yo your moms are go through and everything good and rare, then you find say moms give you born with a top man. What could have been the other reason? Except Vanity, you must feel small. No matter what. What if you're actually small? You just feel smaller. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Question for Pastor and for Arlene. We go with Pastor first up. Can you find forgiveness for a cheating partner and move onward positively in mm. the relationship? And as I was saying earlier, Pastor, I am with this man, my mm -hmm. husband. And mm. for years, things have been going fine until I discovered that, okay, him have Mary. And Mary called me phone and disrespect me and no, carry no, on. No, 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 Mary never call you. You just find out. Mary called? No. Find out and she will call me phone too. No. I want to try because there are women who do that. Yeah, but and well, I know. disrespect me. Do I forgive him? And when I forgive him. I know him call you. When I forgive, you see me talk about Arlene, when I forgive him, and him got to take up Sarah, and Sarah see me with her friend, the man will start laugh and pop big. You know, give me attitude and go on a road and she see me. And I forgive him again. Then one day I know your problem. Until one next one, how many times do I keep forgiving this man, forgiving this man for the same kind of act with different women? Pastor. And so it seems as if that is the only problem I have with him. Yes, man. You don't have a problem with him. dancing man. good, everything nice, and treat me good. Money, 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 money is there to, you to have pay a problem the bills, then, as Daddy Ruth says. But this man keeps cheating. He's constantly unfaithful with all kinds of different, different no, women. No, man. What kind of strong Why word about unfaithful? Him? Yes, because the Bible said that we, we, are to, we are to forgive. Find forgiveness in our hearts 70 times. Seven. Yeah. Seven times seven. Then, yes, and so if we multiply. Four hundred. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And something. And ninety. ninety. Yes. In a day. Yes. In a what? In a day. In, in a, a given, day. In a given day. <laughs> so hold on, Arlene. In all my <laughs> life on earth, I've never seen that part in the Bible. But on, in a day. <laughs> <laughs> I stop at 70 times 7, I mean, I said, why, yo, I'm supposed to reach all about 489. Yes. So, so many of us in a day. Yes, and so. Yeah. But from, my, from a psychological perspective, while Pastor answer that, I would say to you, there is something that I have been using for a lot of neuroplasticity. I'm not sure what's happening with your signal, um, Arlene. You're a little bit distorted a while ago. Okay, so I, are you hearing me now? A little bit. I'm he I heard city, something like city. Okay. <laughs> Neuro, neuroplasticity. neuroplasticity. Yeah, neuroplasticity. What is that? Neuroplasticity is the ability to tell yourself, use your, your brain to heal itself. Okay. For example, for want of a better word, it's self affirmation. Uh -huh. So when you're affirming yourself, you're telling yourself, when the devil says this, I am not that. Right. Or emotionally, when when that young lady walk and show a word, you sure you she a laugh after? I me. She has to right for me. No, nah, man, you have, you, you, you have, you have you psychological are, you are and psychiatric mind. problem, man. So worst of all, my ear one do. Boy, them one to them <laughs> eat, them ear one do. You know what I mean? I mean, no, so I mean, you're the one do for true. Come on now, I mean, she's talking. But maybe your your walk is what they are looking at and jealous of. Aye. They had it. Aye. So you have to change the way your mind tells you. You didn't hear a mom really say. Talk. Then, then, then adopt me until I'm you know, your mom's do a mash me up. Make it be for them problem. <laughs> Their problem. Yeah, make and it be true. for them problem. 
So it's you're saying... I am okay with my husband as my husband is. Their problem is wanting to get my husband. He's already married to me. They will have to work extra hard to allow him to get that divorce to come to them. Mm -hmm. my, my thing is... Uh -huh, I, if I, still have a off anyway. I don't have a problem. I will mm. now do things within my power. So, so my brain cells are working to replace the dead ones, the, the neuroplasticity mm -hmm. of things. The, the, the dead things, the things that are negative, are going to be replaced by positive thoughts. So when I wake up in the morning and I look into the mirror, I said to myself, oh, I am beautifully and wonderfully made. Right. Look at the quality here that God has given me. I'm mm. going to fix this here so my husband will love this ear some more. Mm -hmm. And if tomorrow morning, morning the thought needs to change to the sexy body then i'm going to go work out yes i am not going to be worried about what they are saying or what they are looking at to laugh at me mm -hmm. god has given me this man he is mine oftentimes too we give up easily mm -hmm. So we, we look the husband, look the husband we have, what we built where he is, is taken from us by somebody that is a lesser person than he would have had the, the, the value of. Amen. So we have to put a value on self and work to improve self to ensure that our relationship is what is working out. So, so you're saying, despite the fact that this man cheating on me with these little knuckleheads around town, yeah. right? I am supposed to know be at a place or I should get myself to a place where I can look at me positively and say, how can I continue to build on this relationship? How can I continue to strengthen my marriage so that they say more will see us and say, wait, but I thought that then do not mash up, come here, try and mash them up and now nah, mash up them stronger than ever. Not all. Exactly. We have a caller online. Let's ask our guests to hold a bit. We have sure. Dan Dan online. Hello, Dan Dan. Greetings. My cheating radio husband. <laughs> How are you, my love? <laughs> I'm fine. Happy New Year to you. Great to hear you. Thank Where you have you all. been? So here is now. Yes. Mr. Mr. Your, your panel is uh, um, something to the effect of um, so uh, the Lord gave 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 me my husband. Uh, something like that. Well, yes. Well, well, correct me. Give, yes. Gave a husband unto me, right? All yes. Right. To her. Yes. You see, you, you see all them things. You know, th these are the things which, which, uh, when you, when when you examine what's being said, you know, it's like you are claiming you 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 have you have ownership to this to this person. You know. No. Well, I never done. <laughs> and I think, and I think, and my husband, you can't say they go and talk. Mm -hmm. and, 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 I, and I think it's more accurate to acknowledge mm -hmm. that you actually, that you actually own the relationship with the man, but you don't want the man. And I think, and 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 and. But and I'm I think, in the relationship with the man, so automatically the man is mine. I'm married no, to this man. I got Donna. Give me Donna. No, no, Donna. Dan, Dan. no. And and here and, 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 and here lies the problem in, in society a lot. When 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 a, when something goes awry as in you think that the person I share mm. I share another relationship with somebody else. You know, you you don't look at as, as as the person in another relationship with somebody else. You look at you look at it as, as the person I give her your thing. Yes, my because, because, You know, well well yeah, but look here now. Me not think so nobody or nobody. Th you that's own, that's all, why. All, 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 no, all you do, you know, all you do is you own a relationship. You know, one the person. Dan, Dan. Uh, you, have she, you, have, you have shares in the relationship. Let, let's hear what Arlene yes. is saying. Yes, go ahead, Arlene. But, but, but not, but not in the, but not in the I'm person. I'm pulling on Dan, Dan. Yes. To, to ask him the question. Seeing that it's not the person that you own. And, and it's the relationship. While I agree in some sense to what he's saying and understand where he's going, did, did the relationship by itself sign that marriage agreement? <laughs> Wasn't it an individual who signed? Exactly. Dan, Dan, got your tongue? Well, 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 mm -hmm. well ask, it, ask it again. Ask it again. <laughs> she said, was it, was it, um... The individual. The individual who signed the agreement, or was it the relationship that signed the agreement? 
No, no, well, and, but the, 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 the most, it, it, it's, it's always going to be individuals entering into a contract, you know. It's so going to be then, if we, we agree that the two have become one, we agree that we are getting into this union where we're no, now one. No, no, I mean, uh, how, how, how does two become one? Two how, become how, how one with a marriage, with a, in the marriage union, man. Yeah. Stop being technical, Dan Dan. I can't believe last year you come with your technicality <laughs> and this year, brand new year, you come back with more technicality. Yo, General, two <laughs> can be one. <laughs> Look here. Uh, all right. That, 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 that has always been a confu confusion to me. Like, what, what exactly does that mean? The Bible tells us, the Bible tells us that when a man leaves his family and mother and take on a Leave wife. Leave and cleave. Yeah. Take on a wife to himself, the two become one. But she must also yeah, submit. One, so what become, it is become, that they are well, individual not, beings, as, they... As, as in a relationship. The two becomes one as in a relationship. So we're but talking not, about... Not as one as one per, per. Come on, man. We know what it means, man. We know what it means. We don't want to go with no, some, from what we're sure. talking about, but it's actually one. So if you think of it like, like right, like a, a different thing, then it's a fear, a fear of commitment that he's having, why he doesn't want to say that his relationship is is for no. both of them and not necessarily them pulling apart. Because if you're going to no, take no, an no, agreement, hold on, hold on there, hold on there, hold on there, not a, there. a, a, not fear. a, a no, no. union no, no. together, no, no. Yeah, fear for no, 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 no. Yes. Once you, no, no. Once, once you are in a relationship with somebody, there can be, there can be, they cannot be said that there's a fear of commitment, because the the the, the, yes, the sense of relationship happen. itself implies commitment. But so we have no different degrees. Of commitment. Come on, Danda, you have different degree of commitment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 but, but 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 you can't call it a fear of. But there are people who are afraid to get to other levels of the commitment of a, of a commitment. Yes. There are some men who will say, okay, she's my girlfriend, you know, so, yes, me, you know, there's something with her, I mean, I live in the same space, but when I go around, I cannot do my thing, I mean, I really feel no way. But then there are other people who will say, I am committing to you, I'm giving up all others, you're my wife, I'm your husband, we're going to do this union together, we are one in this union, and there are certain things that they will not settle for, because they have made that well, grand know. ultimate see, commitment. You, but, yet, but yet, again, you're going by this erroneous um, premise that once you commit to one person, that, 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 that you cannot have another commitment to somebody else. And, and, and that's erroneous. But, but, that's but, not, but, that's, that's but Dan, Dan, if the Bible is saying, if the biblically, well, uh, we, are ex yeah, we are expected yeah. as man and wife, man and wife, yeah, but, you're but expected to leave you're, you're all others that. and cling to your wife, wife submit to your husbands. Why yeah, on God's earth you're, then you're, are you telling me about committing to somebody else? No, man. You're talking about a utopian experience now. That's about real life. <laughs> That's about real life. Oh, he's contributing to real talk. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, Dan Dan. No, look here. Dan Dan. In, in the, look here. In the ideal world, no, in, in, in the ideal world, the, mm. world. the Bible yes. paints an ideal world that we should all aspire to. Right. And everybody can, uh, and everybody can accomplish that. Is that everybody has accomplished that. Right. So, so, so you, you have to be with reality now. All right, and that, that's all about. But, but what's the Dan Dan? Is, no, the right, fact of the matter is there, there, there are many people on, 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 on earth here who are listening to you who have, who have been in multi, multiple relationships at the same time. But if there are people, are, are, there are people listening to me too who have also committed to each other and tell themselves that this is my man and this is my woman. Yeah, but... But, but, but what? But listen, and, and, this, and this is what I said to you now. You see when... Just, 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 uh, you see, in the past three, four years, we, we hear about um, the, the domestic violence and man are killed, woman because this. Because, because, because don't come in and tell us that, look, you belong to me. I disagree right? with and, you. And, 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 and it should be that the relationship, if, if, if they take the attitude that the relationship what? belongs to me and not necessarily the person. All right, the person will not, will not become a piece of property. So are you and saying that, that and those and relationships and can't too, fail? Too often. Are you saying that those people who say, okay, this relationship belongs to me and not the person, are you telling me that none of those have failed and ended up in death? Is that what you're saying? I am saying to you, if, if, they, if they look at it as the relationship, as their only relationship, look here, anything, a relationship doesn't have, the intention is that it will last forever, you know. That's the intention, all right? 
things can go awry and and, and the anybody can go bad. Committed so, or uncommitted? <laughs> huh? But the statistic would show that most of the times that the commitment of some of those killings is not necessarily among married persons, but on persons who commit to something that they are not willing to put themselves into. And then that oh, then my, goes forward. No, so my, while my, I agree my, with that, that in some aspect of what it, a relationship is, and he is speaking from a business perspective or a company's no, perspective, no, no, where you no, both no, 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 with no, parties, no, 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 not, not about heartfelt relationship. But, heartfelt but, but and business. But can I ask you a real really question on real, real radio? Is it that you're saying that the vagina of the female to which is your partner is just an agreement? And anybody else can come and have an agreement with that vagina and it's still that, that agreement and not with you? You see, no... You, no, you, answer you, you, question, Dan Dan. Oh, answer no, question. No, 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 is that yes or no, Dan Dan? No, real, Relax. 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 I'm answering the question. I'm not running away. Relax. It's Relax. a real talk. Answer yes or no. No, no. no. You see, you see, you talk about the, um, a, a, a certain, a certain body part of the person. You see, you start segmenting the body part. No. But we have to. Because a while ago we put it all in one. Hold on. Dan Dan. Oh, Dan Dan. A while ago we said the entire body belongs to us. And you said no. Shut me up. Dan Dan. A while ago we said. Dan Dan, yes. A while ago we said the man belongs to his wife and the wife belongs to her husband. And you said no, 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 no. So she has to ask the question now if the vagina. So allow me to answer the question. Okay, go ahead, sir. Allow me to answer the question. Now, straight now, we know. Right. Go ahead, yes. I'm, I never said to you, sir, mm -hmm. look, it is erroneous to, 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 to look at a person because of one body part and just segmentize it, and segmentize it like that. A, a, person, a, a, a person's value it comes, comes with the whole entire <laughs> person, not just, a, not just a body part. So when you focus on one body part, no, it, 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 you know, the person becomes even more of a property rather, rather than a person. But when and, we and, ask and you're wrong, the person... Oh, okay, so Dan, then answer the question now. Okay, go ahead now. Answer the question now. What's the question? <laughs> I know you would say that. I know you like a I book. Answer the question. I know I you like a question. So the question is, if you and I were to get married, yeah? And I say yeah. to persons or even to you, honey, you're mine. And this man, he is my husband. I'm my man this. You're saying I would be wrong to tell people that? No, I'm not saying that. No, listen to me now. You ever know the person to, to, uh, to know whether they're actually saying to you that you are mine as in a property or you are mine as in the relationship? No, because, I am saying because... I am in a relationship with you and I'm saying you are mine. Uh, you belong to me and nobody else. Uh, you are for me. For your tea is mine. Yeah, what, I'm say what I'm saying to you, Cleo, mm -hmm. that a lot of time when people... A lot of time when people say that, mm -hmm. the implication is that you are mine, as in the relationship, the relationship that we are having is mine. They're not and for not, me? That is what they're implying. But me married to you, so are you are for me? <laughs> yes. The you, are looking at, you are looking at marriage too casually? He said yes. No, 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 man. No, 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 no. Dan, Dan, me now, but I'm married to you, me love, because he's here in Miami, but I'm married to you. Look here, look here. <laughs> marrying, mar marrying someone, you know, mm -hmm. that, is, that, that, that is the ultimate, um, as if you are, um, when, when it comes, when, when it comes to, to, to persons, first purchase, uh, property, commitment, a marriage, a marriage is, as, is as big a commitment as, as, as when you buy a house. Mm -hmm. You see, so you, you um so 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 way I describe this is um is frivolous. When you when you when, when you actually enter into a marriage with somebody, that you, you know that 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 is the ultimate of our relationships. The question to you, Dan Dan, can you find forgiveness for a cheating partner and move on positively? <clears throat> she has she word. has Tom Dick and Harry literally. Can you find to forgive her each time she has her indiscretion? 
or each time she's into an entanglement, can you find it to forgive her and move on in the re same relationship positively? Of course. Why not? Of course. Okay. Because I know why? Yes, I, why? I, I know why. I know why. I know why. Tell us once why. Again, one, once again, it's easier to, um, to, to forgive right there because, again, once you don't own the person, you see, you see once you claim you own the person, forgiveness is harder to accomplish. So it's okay if she does go and just give up on all the time then? It's okay with, you're okay with uh, that? Again? So it's okay for her to just have just have other people and just give you a bun, 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 bun. No, 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 I mean, I said okay. But, but, but what are you saying then? No, but hold on, hold on, hold on. What are you saying? Look here, no, no. Me and you in a relationship. And next thing we know, say, yeah, and daddy rude, have a, have a relationship. Mm -hmm. Now, it's, it's going to be up to me to decide if me can anger being in a relationship with you and you in a relationship with, with Daddy Road. Okay. There are two, two options. Okay. You, you hug it up, I'm, I'm going to walk away. So you, could you All forgive right. me? But, 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 we, but, we know but, the but, options. But, we know the options. I'm you, asking you. Know? But if you, if you choose a relationship with, um, with, 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 um, with Daddy Road, that is on you. But can you, for, I don't want you to go because I enjoy being with you too. I want you to stay. Let me say this categorically. Mm -hmm. Let me say this categorically. I have been in relationship with, with, with others already. I mean, I mean, no, so let me not relationship. I mean, still continue with it. Let me not talk about if you know. Let me not talk about if you know. May I say to you, say, you discover that you're not together and you discover that I yeah, have then, been then, with then, Daddy Road. Then, then, then discover it. Not that I mean, no. If you discover something, that I mean, me no. Dan, Dan, stop being technical. <laughs> I'm saying we are together. You never know what Daddy Road before. All of a sudden, yeah. you discover that Daddy Road in the picture. Would you forgive mm. me and say, boy, there's something special about Cleo? I don't want to lose her. I can't forgive her and move on with the relationship. Same way. Mm -hmm. Keep her, same way, forgive her, and we continue. Can you do that? Come yeah, on. If, if, if we really like that, sure. And then you forgive me and we're moving on fine. And then you hear about the, the, Mitchell. The, 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 and then you hear about the, Mitchell the, now. Then I tell then I tell then I tell Natural I I I you know, been there. I tell Natural that you know. Hmm. But there's a difference. Because because, because because again, I, I have never ever looked on a girlfriend as a property. And you have never discovered that a woman is cheating on you. Me never what? Have you ever discovered that a woman is now cheating? She, you thought you were the only but one and she's discovered? cheating? Yes. No, but, 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 but then, come on. Matilda said, I have a girlfriend already who in a relationship with somebody else. That is that different. Is, Dan, 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 Dan. Dan, Dan, a woman it's having it's another it's man and you're a... Isn't that what you call, what you call cheating? A woman having a relationship with another man and yes, you are aware of it before you got into yes. her is different from mm. you being with her and she having somebody else along with you and you don't know about it then then no one if i if, if i don't know about it what what, what what is my problem but then you found out about it what you're going to do some some, some know about it then we, we oh, Jesus. We know all right all right <laughs> all right dan dan have a good night <laughs> <laughs> have a good night, Dan Dan. And I'm, 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 you, I'm, your, your I'm relationship me, no. with Dan Dan yeah. should just say that mm. that is it. That's a level as well. Because yes. You and him, you and he, you along with him can argue about the relationship, mm -hmm. but it doesn't mean that you are not still in love with him. But finding a place of forgiveness means that arguments will arise every now and again. You will go through it, and it's the process is a cycle it goes around and around and around but yet still both of you are unwilling to let go and then some people but, just but pressure you, know, you with it too you know the, uh, they, they, they look, they look they around and just about, pressure you every day with it about forgiveness as but if forgiveness is, is such a difficult thing True. do you find forgiveness to be such a difficult thing you're asking me yeah i'm asking the person depends on the level Depends on the level but of bun, man. But yes, but man. Forgiveness is not, is not too hard to do. It depends on the degree of the bun. <laughs> <laughs> no, man. Look here. Look here. All right. Is it? But I, 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 I'm, I'm sure, sure the part of what I said is just, 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 just as though the, the, the Heavenly Father uh, can't can forgive you. It, 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 should be, it should be just as easy um, to, to give you your fellow man. Yeah, talk something different now. Mm -hmm. All right, no, sir. No, oh, 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 oh. I'm not straight from the subject. No, 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 I'm not straight in any way. I talk about, I talk about the whole art of, of, of forgiveness. Forgiveness. You make, you make it look like it's, 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 it's a heart. You know, it's almost certain people can, um, can, can pull it off. 
Nah, mm -hmm. man. And that's something we can pull up again. When do you differentiate? Oh, before we go, well, it's about time for the break. Question before you go. How do you differentiate if you really no longer love your cheating partner? Or is it that you have run out of forgiveness? Well, me, me, me never stop loving, you know. You never stop love? No, no, no. So you one, can't no, stop no. forgive once either? Me, no, once me, once, no, once me love, me not stop love. Me not stop love nobody. Okay. Never, All right, me so. never stop loving nobody. Yet. All right. Well, go to, go to the break now, General, yeah? Thank you, Dan Dan. Yeah, good, to ver good to hear you. Very good to hear from you. Thank you. It's 11.30. The time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services. And Real Talk is sponsored by Nessal. When we come back, we're pretty much going to be wrapping things up with our guests who has taken so much time to be with us. And then we go to the, towards the end of Real Talk. We'll soon come. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting, and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Architects, draftsmen, and civilians Get your drawings printed in high-quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high-quality white paper printing that is water-resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 893-22. Do you have or are you seeking a place to rent? Seeking employment or have a job vacancy? Are you selling a car or having a garage sale? Then come see us. Let Styles do the advertising for you and you'll be on your way in no time. Contact us at 439-5160. Advertising Style. Advertise with Styles. The views expressed on this program are not necessarily the views of Native Broadcasting Network or Styles FM. We're back with you. Welcome back to Real Talk with Daddy Rude, Lady Cleo, and our two lovely guests. Um, just a little shout out for Donald. Um, persons who are dialysis patients in Portland and the surrounding parishes, Donald is asking you to give him a call on this number. That's 876-344-9887. 344-9887. So all the dialysis, dialysis patients in Portland, you know yourselves, and you all should know Donald, and those patients who have to do dialysis also in sur surrounding parishes, Donald is asking you to give him a call. Again, the number, 876 344 9887. All right. Um, wow. Finding forgiveness. And, and you know, forgiveness, as Dr. Will, t um, I keep saying doctor, as Pastor will say, it, it's, it can be very difficult, can't it, to forgive? To forgive. Yes it, yes, it can be very, very difficult. But, you know, as the word of the Lord said, that, you know, we have to. Of forgiveness, our marriage, you know, so, um, forgiveness is surround it's, it's forgiveness. We have to have that. Mm -hmm. And so, for, for for us to keep our marriage, and like you said um, early on, you will have to fight for to keep a marriage, yeah. fight to keep it up, and so whatever what you have to do, but, but pastor, you know, to keep it, because we we stood before the Holy Ghost, we stood before the congregation, mm -hmm. and say yes, I do. And so Better we don't or worse want, right. richer, poorer. And so on, and so we don't want to waste, waste it. A pastor. It's something, it is, it's something sacred. Sacred, yes. And so it's something to keep until that does part. But pastor, suppose I feel like say, I want to keep the relationship, but I don't forgive her. I, that I, I leave her to judgment there. You're not doing that if you don't it, forgive it, her. No, nah, man. Me, you forgive her, you're leaving her to judgment day. No, nah, man. Me not take on, me not take on a responsibility for forgive her for nothing. I just say that with her guilt, but I not left you. 
That would be that would be nice. You you know nah, you're torturing her, her because mm-hmm. she's knowing that you don't forgive her, but you're still there. Nah, I left her. I get up in the morning. I cook like a breakfast for you. See me whatever for wash and them something. I do whatever me use about me. Nah, forgive you. But that's haunting her. That's gonna be haunting me, her. Me, me will give her uh, uh, me, 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 with sex with everything. And, and the money, the money coming. Everything, still? but me nah forgive you. That good then. That good. Yeah, that good. Right. Mm-hmm. That that in itself <laughs> is forgiveness, Lady Cleo. Yes. That in itself is some form of forgiveness. Of course it is. Even if he doesn't want to admit, admit that he it. Has forgiven her, mm. but the love is speaking volumes. No, that man, the man, the love is the same way, you know. Me love you. But why won't you forgive me then? No. Why not? not? forgive you. Why not? So you, you is it no, you don't. You, no. You're going to use it to taunt her. That's what I'm saying because no. there are people who do that. Men do it. Women do it. No, we don't know yet, you know, but we just know that I don't forgive Every you. Every now and again, you remind the person, you remember when you did so and so and so and so. No, and me, me not, me not, me, no I don't have a need to tell you that. You it's must, a process. You must know within yourself, say, boy, yo, you know, say, me did this, that good man. Yeah. You must know, you know, look, look where dumpling is soft and nice. <laughs> you know? I'm a really this, that man. Yeah. Yes. And look how the, the, the man even quarrel with me, the man even argue with me. Hey, if that's he a, takes hey. care of me, same with um, hey. Arlene, and that's gives me all the money, me same out like way. Congo worm, you know, my girl. Me not think about the forgiveness when I forgive him. Me not thinking about it. Me sorry. I got to find a way to just love you up well, and not, sweet you up every day. Watch this now. Watch this now. You must forgive me yeah, one day. Clear. Yes? And that is the road. Let eh? me tell you something. At some point or another, there is going to be that still moment just before you fall asleep to let you have something that we call gratitude and appreciation yes. for the individual. Yeah. And if it is that you have you have favored the person so much to still cook for the person, yes. still take care of the person, then it shows a higher degree. It, it shows a level of maturity. True. Yeah. That is not normally seen in, in normal relationships. So, so in order for the relation to be of some substance and meaning, there is a level of forgiveness, whether you want to admit it or not. True. Yeah, but, True. but, 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 but here we are now counselor and pastor. Mm-hmm. You see, because I know some conscience are killing. <laughs> him. Co- him. Can't know conscience say, our are conscience are killer. Our conscience not She will come to me and say, boy, you know, say, Mr. Mr. Margaret, I don't want to sorry for you, I'm a good enough. Mm-mm. Once good. be killing you, once don't you're God God mm-hmm. accept it. Once you're God be killing you. Yeah, man, I want to have a fear God, man, because God rat no, no normal, mal, normal, you know. I, 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 so, eat, I so eat, okay. me I wait for take car, you know. So, so would you say then, ladies, vengeance that... is mine. He's not allowing God to have his vengeance. True. <laughs> Gratifying himself in the process of, of killing her, taunting her. Yes, with making her, her feel guilty every day. May I, may, may, may I go to work and I never come home till 7 o'clock at night. You, think you, you can't ask me no question where may I come from again, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know that. Yes. You, know, have, you have no moral authority. To ask me no question. So, question, question, yes, question, ladies. So, when it is that the man or the woman stops cooking, for example, stops making the place look nice, stop doing the things that the partner loves, is it suggesting that they are no longer in love with the person? Because I remember hearing one man say once, when he knew he rated a woman that he was with, was when he had done something so terribly wrong and the woman cooked his dinner same way. He came home, dinner was cooked, rain falling, and she took up the clothes off the, his clothes were on the line and she took them up off the line. And him said to himself, said, boy, him no say if I did him, he no look on her clothes them and him no cook no food give her. So right away he thought to himself and said, boy, this woman here really is a good woman and she rate me. So when it is that this woman you or know, the other partner know, say, stops doing certain things. The dog or the puss have any of my food before me, you know. You're now telling me that this is where you're saying, okay, clearly they are now falling out of love. No, or no, is no. it that they probably are angry for that couple of months or a couple of days or whatever? I believe you can remember or recall me saying in the earlier stage that when you're going through the process of griefing or death, the loss of something, Mm -hmm. it takes the same stage. You're not in a particular stage at any given time. You deny, you bargain, you, you 
um, accept or you might not accept and go back to bargaining. So it's a, it's something that is go seesaw. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing when you have a committed relationship. You are in the house with the person. You don't just fall out of love the same day. Mm -hmm. You don't stop caring about the person. Even when you, you lock shop and stop doing the things that you think mm -hmm. are relevant and necessary for the relationship to grow or thrive. The relationship will still thrive if you have a communication line, no matter how thin it is. The communication might not be verbal. Mm -hmm. It might be in the small acts. So when yes. Daddy Rue talk about him mother cook for her still, a small act of love is a small act of doing something to know that I am still around, I still care about you, but I want you to find it in your heart, to find that place of forgiveness that we can work things through. Positively carrying on a relationship might take some more work than before, mm -hmm. but it does not mean that either party has given up on each other. And sometimes, as he said earlier, you just need a third wheel, and the third wheel would have been Jesus. Mm -hmm. But in your interest and time of praying and having that relationship with God himself, then it's going to show you that you need external help. Mm -hmm. And while you might think that you don't need help from somebody else, it might be in a, in a book that you're reading, it might be um, just saying something to somebody, or even hearing us here on this program discussing relationship, might give some form of healing or sense of purpose to somebody else's relationship. So there's always something there's an external variable that's saying, I am speaking to you about something that you are going through. Mm -hmm. Here I am to offer some form of solace, some form of comfort to you. Take me. Uh, so it I might not be seeking personal counseling or networking with your mother for your mother tell us, let the old boy a long time if you let him. No, it can be something else. Mm -hmm. So relationships just don't go away like that or fade away in thin air like smoke. It's a working process, and we have to learn to work what we have if we believe in what we have. But, but do, Pastor, do you forgive the person despite, say, let's say, cheating is there, but then there are other things. Do you still forgive? Because if it's a case, for example, of physical abuse, for example, yeah? Mm -hmm. mm. Would forgiveness yes, still God. need to be coming in every time? So he slaps you up this time around. Do you forgive that? Yes, and you know, you but know, forgiving when, doesn't when mean you have time, to stay. Yeah, but we, when and when that time comes, you know, we know that we have to seek counseling mm -hmm. because you know we we won't um, sit around because and, and hurt one another right. because we know that something gone wrong. No one, and I heard our counselor talk about communication. Mm -hmm. That is one of the key points in our relationship. We have to communicate, and you were saying that if something gone wrong in the house and so on, we're not um, talking. But we, you know, we have um, action because somebody says action speaks. Louder than and, words. Right, sometimes. and so we know that something, something really going wrong now. So there are times when we have to take time out to get some counseling. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we might have to call the church for a prayer meeting mm -hmm. in our home, and you know, and all the and all these things. And so you know, so these are some of the things that you know we have to, you know, we have to really, really look out for. All right. So, yes. so forgiving him, Arlene, doesn't mm -hmm. does it mean that if he slaps me because he thought I did something wrong? Forgiving him, does it mean I have to stay? Personal tolerance for abuse is very thin. Very thin for me. Man is zero, my love. For me, yes, that's it. So it, for me, it means that there needs to be a form of intervention, and that relationship is, is really sick. Mm -hmm. Not to say that the one with the, the, the infidelity isn't need enough help, yes. but when it comes to being the physical abuser, then it, it is so much more. Because you're showing outrightly that something is going on inside that you have no control of. Mm -hmm. so therefore, a relationship is probably too big for you. Mm -hmm. um, question. Mm -hmm. um, how many persons from your experience actually do stay and work it out? Well, I, I have not been in marriage counseling for long, to be honest with you, maybe about four years. But I have no case thus far where there is a separation. That's good. That's very good. Thank you. Pasa? Yes, I know. I have cases where, where the, you know, divorce men come in. Mm -hmm. When after the, the abuse. Um, abuse was in it? Yes. Okay. When, when the man start to abuse his wife. I know mm -hmm. cases where it, you know, end up in divorce. Okay. 
But and then the church would be against divorce, no? The church is against. But divorce. then there are some exceptions, then, I believe. And so, but you know, we we would try, you know, to, try you know, to, to yeah. keep it together. But sometimes, you know, it you know it get from one stage to the other. Right. And then you know the, the wife yeah. can't cope. You know, it just get out of hand. You know, there's a breakdown that come in. Mm -hmm. You know, and so, you know, um, that's when you know divorcement start. Okay. And so you know. And it says good night to the real talk. Duh. I'm here listening. Donald says, Pastor Crazy, me no lick, me no lick no woman, and me no take no lick from no woman, and me no live and forgive no physical abuse. So if you're not licking any woman, and you're not take no lick from no woman, if the woman lick you, where you going to the Donald? Just asking. <laughs> Turn the other cheek. <laughs> Turn the other cheek. Yes. Oh, boy. <laughs> well, 502 had said earlier, no, no one man should keep a woman all to himself all her life. Not at all. Vice versa. What do you mean by that? What's here? <laughs> <laughs> But, but oh boy. I, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play, not the devil's advocate, but I'm going to ask a question. If, for example, like say somebody knows, this wouldn't be a marital, a married couple. Persons dating and a man or a woman feels a boy she wants straight. Is it okay for them to separate and then go do what they might do and build back, come back together? It will be their agreement, no? This decision is theirs. Well, not because necessarily, that, you know. But if is it, it that you're asking about a, a couple that intend on getting married and then decided that we should probably wait because we have not explored? No, or, not not necessarily. Okay. The the agenda. Okay. Just because the person probably said, boy, they don't want to cheat. Because a lot of persons are of the view, oh. you know, so, so if you're a person in a relationship on a break of one, one month, oh. what, 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 one intimacy one with somebody else, not cheating. Or, or multiple person, it is not cheating. Okay. So, <laughs> Interesting. So, so. That one, that one is, is, is very ticklish to answer, and I understand the advocacy of the devil right here to put this <laughs> on our program at this point. <laughs> <laughs> but here it is concerned, though. Um, it's a choice. And it's a choice to decide what it is he or she wants. But it also has its implication, because there will be, always be a guilt trip in both parties' mind, what did he do or what did she do when we were not together? And if you can live with that as an individual from both sides, it's something that you can go forward with. But if, if you can't live with it or you're not sure, then it's best to seek some form of clarity mm -hmm. as to what you're getting into before you're getting into it. And my stand remains the same. To thine own self. Be true. Be true. Amen. But, but, Dana says, hold on, Dana says, good night, guys. Sounds like an open relationship. And well, there are people who oh, and agree to, to open, yeah. Yeah, and to open but, relationships. But, but what I'm talking about wouldn't be the setting of an open relationship. You wouldn't? No. No, they are me together. And, me and you right together, now. right? We vex up and we say we left. For whatever the reason, we vex up and we left. And so we make up back a month or so afterwards. Mm -hmm. But within that time, we have a conversation. I say, boy, so and so. And me say, boy, yes, I've been with someone, someone else. And you say, yes, I've been with someone else. Mm -hmm. Right? Would that be... Can you live with it? Well, that's you a, can't live with well, it. <laughs> well, I don't. The choice is yours. The, 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 there are factors to consider. Yes. Yeah, Definitely. You are, because remember, we say that even if any person left in a, are you not trusting the love not necessarily dead? True. Exactly. So even though you're separated, as short as it is, you still love the person. Maybe you were even in contact with the person. But then you find that maybe one of the time when you make a link, I me, me call, call on clear phone king, and I now get clear. Mm -hmm. Right? I now get clear. And when it comes to boom, I call king, and I say, yo, king, what are going on? King not answer your phone either. Mm -hmm. What are you insinuating? Say, boy. <laughs> 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 they having the 
courtship and hold, they're putting and hold and hold. Yeah. Well, them break up like a bit, and and and, and, and then them she, she, she goes straight one clear. Are uh, you go straight? Oh, me. It wasn't got, me. Remember, say boy, man is done a rolling stone, you know. <laughs> sure. uh, oh boy, we 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 definitely want to um, thank our our guests, our guests for being with us longer than we anticipated for them to be with us because we just have them here. Going through and going through and going <laughs> through. Thank you so very much to our pastor. Before we give pastor the our minute to wrap up, um, tell us what you want to what, what you would want to say to persons out there who are in relationships, especially marriages in your from your standpoint, yes. advantage point um, in marriages who are struggling with this issue of infidelity and forgiveness. What would you want to say to them? Well, you know, I would I would want to encourage them. You know, to you know, I know that prior. I know that prayer works. Yes. And you know, I, I want to encourage them to you know to you know to encourage their spouse as well. You know, you know, try to have a a time when they will take time out to you know communicate. Because communication is a key. And we you know at times we have to sit down and you know refresh. Have a refresher, you know, in our marriages. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we talk what we want, but what, what we want to see. And you know what we want to you know happen. Right. I remember at one time when you know when I was going into marriage, you know, the, the, the counselor would have us to write on a piece of paper mm -hmm. to say what I don't want, what I don't like from my spouse, and what I, the things I like and the things I don't like, mm -hmm. and, you know, vice versa. Mm -hmm. And so these are some of the things sometimes we have to, you know, sit back and, you know, roll back the curtain yeah, right. and, you know, talk what we, what we want, what we don't want, what we like and what we don't like. Mm -hmm. You know, because in, being with the person for, for, you know, for a time or for a year sometimes, we must know what they like. And what the, you know, likes don't. and dislikes, yeah. Right. True. And you you and know how to use that you as your how to balance yes. balance that balance balance of things, mm -hmm. and so you know I you know and so as a pastor, and also as a marriage therapist as well because you know there are times when I have to you know counsel people in marriage, mm -hmm. and so on, you know I would encourage them to 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 seek the Lord. Yes. You know, have the Lord in their in their in their relationship, have the Lord in their life as Donald having always at, at, says the, that. at the center of everything. Yes, Donald always because says some that. you know the, the scripture always reminds us that when Christ is in the family, you know, he's a happy home. When Christ is in the vessel, you know, yes. you know, we can smell the storms. And so when Christ is in it, then you know, we can know how to curb things and you know, it's better when we have Jesus. Yes. You know, and you know, when we and when we abide, when we when we use the word, you know, to, to guide us. You, to guide us. Because, you know, the word is a lamp and a light. Yes. And, you know, and, you know, above all, we know we have prayer. And, you know, we can pray about everything. We can meet together and pray and pray about everything. And so we would want to encourage, you know, family, spouses, you know, wives and husband, you know, to, you know, to seek the Lord, strengthen and strengthen up yourself in, you know, in that way. Mm -hmm. And get the Lord in the family. Because, you know, it works. Indeed, yes. indeed. Mm -hmm. And of course, we are going to ask Arlene the same question. Uh, Mrs. Wellington, mm -hmm. what would you say to persons um, in relationships? Because there are relationships that are really, really serious, be it common law or even marriages. They are serious relationships, but sometimes some of these relationships, they do go through this infidelity situation. What would you want to say to a couple who could be going through infidelity and considering whether or not they should be forgiving this person. Okay, so I would first want to say to the couples out there and maybe even near that um, the first thing that you do is value yourself as an individual. Mm -hmm. Place a value on yourself and then place a value on your partner. Place a value on your relationship yes. and what it is that you want it to be. You have to work it. There's no um, lot of scam in relationship that's lasting. Mm -hmm. It's just not there. So when you have placed a value on yourself and a value on your relationship, value on each other, then you find ways to work it out. And one of the things that we fail to, to do is that our understanding that love is an action word. Yes. It's something that you do. So the date night should not stop at when we, we just met. Mm -hmm. It should continue in the relationship. And you treat the person better than yourself. Teaches the person how to treat you. Mm -hmm. So you are always going to have quality. 
and when you have a quality relationship, then the relationship is built on substance. Right. Because um, when I take you to the pier, it's not just to take you to the pier and we look at the water. We might have a Devon South ice cream, and while they, we do the ice cream, we put it in each other's face and, and, and make the best of the ice cream from the individual. Mm -hmm. Do something that speaks volume. Put a note in his pocket when he's leaving home to say, I love you. I enjoy what we did last night. Mm -hmm. Can we do it again soon? And you can bring home the ice cream to no, um, Arlene. Huh? You can bring home the, some ice cream too. Of course. All right. <laughs> but but make your relationship a meaningful one, and don't ever take for granted the couple as an individual. And I can't stress that more than the Bible does when the Bible said, um, "Treat your wife as Christ treated the church." Yes. He gave himself for it. So so when you look at your partner. I want to tell that gentleman that call, I understand his perspective, but I'm owning my man. I'm owning my husband. He's mine. And I want to think that, I don't have to think. I know. The first thing when my husband introduced me to anybody, he said, this is my wife. Right. It feels good. So, so I, I don't want to lose that part of ownership within our relationship. Mm -hmm. It's ours and it's what we make of it. Just like when you're teaching computer study, garbage in, garbage out. Right. Whatever you put in your relationship is what is going to make your relationship work. It is what is going to strengthen it. The mason, when he's making the house, he starts at the foundation and he builds on it. You know, you know disregard it every time something goes wrong when you lay one back lean and try to fix it. So let us fix our relationship and let us teach our children so that it continues in our nation that we are working on things that will last and not to make them and start all over again every time yeah. thank you for having me thank you for being with us thank you so much arlene gooden wellington um, guidance counselor, marriage therapist oh my goodness psychologist and our dear pastor who is also a marriage counselor. Thank you so much for having us. And Donald is just being the devil's advocate. Donald says, do ask Pastor if she thinks a man and a woman <laughs> should live together before marriage. And I'm sure Pastor is no. going to tell you, no, Donald. No. No, <laughs> <laughs> no I'll, I'll, I'll leave him saying, no. Live yeah. together before live. marriage. Yeah, yeah, live. They don't must do nothing. They must live. That'd be nice. They live. You are which Jamaican man? Which man I'm gonna live with a woman and don't do anything before marriage? Oh, yeah, live with for how long? I mean it. You, you live in a one room and <laughs> she in the next room. I I okay, I, 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 I sleep head and tail. Pastor, so still going to tell you one word. Yes, no. no okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for being with us, ladies. God bless you all and continue to do the great work you do to to, to keep these unions together and show them a different way than just jumping out of it unless you really 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 have to get out and just to add that confidence dan dan confidence is different from obsession so when i say he's my man this is my husband <laughs> i'm not saying it to own him and to to to, have obs mm -hmm. to, have to be um possession over anybody and it can't go nowhere. And if it's going to me run, go back and go and watch and see where my go. Uh, no. That's not what I mean when I say he's mine. You know, your fe that feeling you have where you've committed to him or he has committed to her. And you feel like, you know, twa, you belong together. You have this connection that nobody can take away. Yes. That's what we're talking about. So confidence in your spouse and to say he's mine, she's mine is different from that level of possession, possessiveness or obsession with the person. Am I right, um, counselor? Indeed. Praise Jesus. So, guys, guess what? We have just about a minute to go wow. and or two before we come to the end of the show. And um, we just want to say thanks to all the friends out there. Let's just see who's on the text line. Um, Mitchell, we are looking at Novlet. How are you, Novlet? Real talk, she says, clear on an issue earlier. Um, what, what does the novelette say? I didn't know if I saw all of her messages. Let's try to get our messages out. Okay. All right. Read those two already. Um, we saw Sadie. Annette Sadie. is also listening in. Daddy would and clear what happened to Brighty. Yeah, I don't hear him from COVID take over. It's true, you know. I don't know what happened to Brighty. Yeah, I hope he's fine, though. Mm -hmm. um, we heard from Tigo. We heard from 502. 
Um, and we heard from 476. Did we see that one? Good night. Yes, we read that one. Shelly was also here. Um, where is my co-host? Um, Prestige, my other co-host. Man, learn new style. Boy, my stepbrother is something else. Oren in Calgary. Uh... 834, I'd said earlier, I beg to differ on an issue that we were discussing as well. Um, all right, so there we pretty much have it. Thanks again, ladies, for being with us. Blessings. Thank you so much for having us. You're, and yeah, you're welcome. All right. And, uh, wish you all the best. Thank you, ma'am. Same all the best to you. And happy new year. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> all right, so we have come to the end of the show. Yep. <laughs> Yes, and the, the ladies were so great to have stuck with us through to the end. Um, we trust that real talk, and of course, we, we, we appreciate Dan Dan's input in his real talk kind of style. Yes, um, thank him for being with us. All the persons who were with us, we want to really thank you so much for being a part of the show next week all being well or third week into the new year 2021 we hope to bring you another exciting and interesting discussion on real talk where we can take an idea a concept that is real to somebody out there dissect it shed light on it and hopefully we'll, we'll be able to help and build better relationships for 2021 not just intimate relationships but relationships with families mother father Hello. children you know neighbors Hello. right um within Hello. the church um within homes and try to build back as best we can until next time on behalf of our engineer king mitchell and my co-host Daddy Rude, who was for a very brief moment, he will, the lovely UL Jackson. <laughs> Lady Cleo signing out and saying, be safe. Take care of somebody else out there who is in need. And make sure you wear the mask, sanitize your hands, because COVID is very much still alive and kicking up rumpus. Okay? We got my wife for life and my people them. Bye, guys. Love you all. Take care. Native audio stage and lighting, now offering stage, lighting and trust systems for your...